Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Good morning. How are you all? Uh, I'm a bit bleary-eyed this morning. I was fine when I woke up all raring to go and now I'm a bit kind of like, mm, 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 like that. Anyway, good morning. How are you? Got a lovely show lined up for you today. However, I've got to do my early bed. Got to, and that's a good, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. Tweet, 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 tweet. I know. Now, the, I don't know why this is the early bird. Because, it, look, they've taken £10 off. They've taken £10 off. It sells at 49.99 perfectly happily and here we are at, th at 39.99. Now obviously the reason I've got it like that is that's the actual thing. This is how yours will arrive. Now it does look a bit odd doesn't it because it's got the little box attached to it here. That has got your plug in, right? I'm going to open this one. That's got your plug in there. You open, oh hang on, you open the box like this because 10 pounds off, we'll do some price comparisons in a minute because I can tell you now this should not be. Jackie spent more than this on an A4 version. Not from here, obviously. An A4 version. She spent more money than this. Look, so this is how yours will arrive. This lovely light box. Wrapped 
in this in the little bag here and it's got uh, you see i would keep all of this i'd keep the box and i'd keep the corn things and that's where i'd store it under your bed or under your desk or anything you, oh there's your little stickers to go underneath to put little feet on them in here there will be a wire there it is there's your wire that now that's a usb port that one a usb uh, cable that one so you can put it straight into your computer put it straight into your um sewing machine or anything like that or you see in here you can put it into that plug there and just plug it like me if you're old-fashioned like me and just got plug plugs plug it into your plug plug and it all works brilliantly now i hope this one's um charged up or do i might need to put the wire in I've got to plug it in. Hang on, I've got to plug it in. Hang on. Right, hang on a second. Oh, right, I'll be with you in a minute. Hold the line, caller. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Loads going into baskets. Now, I think, I'm not sure. Let's just see if this is going to work now. Oh, yours will work. This one's, this one's, um... I think Elliot, this is the one Elliot trod on yesterday, which is why I say to you, you must keep it in your, in your, um, no, I th that one's not, um, I'm going to open the new one, going to open the new one for you. Thank God, Hannah's just said, no, that one doesn't work properly, that one. The one they gave me to demonstrate on doesn't work properly. Yours will, yours will, yours will. I'm blaming Elliot. Right, so this is how you get it out. Oh, beautiful. Now, don't do what I've just done and rip your bag, because that's the bag you want to keep it in, because it'll keep it dust-free, won't it? <laughs> They're making a right old pig's ear of this, aren't I? Anyway, there we go. If that goes there like that, then you unwire this one like that. This one goes into the side like this. That's better. That's not the one that Elliot trod on, you see. And then this plugs into here like this. Keep going through for these, keep going through, lots of you coming in. Well, you're getting it £10 off, and at 39 99 it was already a brilliant price at, th at 49 99 So you just plug that in. I've got a FIFU from Michelle. There it is, let me just put that up there for you. Uh, let me have a look, what's it say? Superb high quality light box, unbelievable price, this is a must have for all applique projects and so much more from Michelle in Tannaway. What are you laughing at? She's laughing at me now because I've, I'm making a right old mess of this, aren't I? There we go. There we go. So now look, it's A3 size. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Like it's got four settings, right? So you've got off, obviously. One, two, three, four. Can you see that? Shall we drop the lights? Ooh. One, two, three, four. Do you see? One, two, three, four. It's brilliant. Now, it's, it's, you can put the lights back on now. Thank you, Emma. You don't look good lit from below. Nice, thin light box with variable settings. Price well from Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. That's what I was just saying. Now, you've got centimetres running along here. You've got inches running along there. It's LED, so it's not going to get hot. It also is very uh, good for the environment because it doesn't use as much power, does it? It's slimline. Look at how slim that is. I think it's six millimetres, isn't it? Uh, great light box, fantastic price, highly recommend, very useful for my applique patterns from Penelope, which oh, sounds posh, doesn't it? Penelope in Hampshire. And it's what? Yeah, foundation paper piecing, I think Hannah's walking around the gallery. Oh, are you sitting, are you sitting back on the sofa, are you? 39 99 right, shall we see some price comparisons? Oh, just got one to start with, right? 80 pounds. £80, that one. That's available right now. Oh, no? Uh, you, now, I'll let you do the others, but you can go to Argos. You can go to... Oh, sorry. Sorry, take that down. Take that back. Argos don't sell it anymore. They do not sell a light box anymore. Sorry, that's my bad. I didn't know that. There's another one there. From an art shop. And how much is that one? 84 reduced from... Is it reduced from 99 or 89? I can't see that. 89, it's reduced from, reduced from 89. I'll cut oh, 39.99. Oh no, I know that's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Another one here for you. Beautiful, 80 pounds, that one you see, 80 pounds. 
I know, it's brilliant. Keep going through for this. So many of you have got this already. So many of you bought this already. Four different light settings. Uh, LED, ultra thin, fantastic. $39.99. I know. While, you while you're checking out, just say some hellos because there's a quarter of the stock's gone already. Right, so Jenny says good morning from a cloudy isle of Wight. Oh, it's sunny here. It's sunny here. June says morning. John and Creole, fabulous day. Glennie says good morning. Laurie says good morning. Leslie. Donna, Cousin Susan, Claire, nice shirt. No, no shorts. It was so cold this morning. It was dark. Do you know what? When I woke up this morning, right, the alarm went off. I'll just tell you. What are you doing, Emma? Oh, okay. Um, she was on her way in. Uh, anyway, she said, uh, no, she didn't say. When I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, the alarm went off. I thought, oh, no, that can't be right. It's dark. It was dark when I woke up this morning. Suzanne says, good morning. I thought I got up too early. Judy says, good morning. Princess says, good morning. Susan says, I love my light box. But at this, oh, right, I love my A4 light box. But at this price, I just had to buy this one too, as it will be ideal for tracing off the size of my grandson's clothes. How old is he, 22? Uh, Stuart says, up early. Oh, Stuart's off to the gym this morning. That's because he didn't leave his sewing table yesterday because it was cold and rainy. And I said, that's a fair weather gym person, isn't it? Anyway, Kirsty says, morning, John and team on holiday all this week, a chance for rest and relaxation. I could do with that. I could do with that too. Oh, that's nice. So Emma just brought out, I've got two iPads now. I've got two iPads on the go now. So let me just switch that one off. Right, make sure you go through for that though. Make sure you go through. Half the stock has gone once you've all checked out. Please be careful. There we go. Right, last time, last time, last time. Here you go. Oh, they switched off. Beautiful. Right. It's make sure you check out. Make sure you check out on that. $39.99. Oh, another message. This is a great buy. I love mine from Marjorie in Suffolk. That's a message that is not a FIFU. Thank you, Marjorie. Message from Diane across the bottom now saying, Good morning, John. I've got my light box ordered. Good for you. Well done, well done, well done, Diana in Cumbria. Cumbria. The Cumbria is the Lake District, isn't it? That kind of way. Is that Elliot? No, for the Lake District. You in, in the mood or are you just tired? He's both. Right, I'm going to move on. I will come back to it later. If there's any left, once you've all checked out, I'll, I'll come back to it later in the, in the nine o'clock hour because the eight o'clock hour is all about the fabrics, you know. Right, have a look at today's menu. There we go. Coming up, the Moda Lulu, Moda Lulu Oops. Uh, collection. Now, Wendy Orlando will be in there, but she's just doing a bit of, um, bit of stitching there, a bit of simple stitching, but it's all about the fabric in that hour, as we all know. Nine o'clock, we've got sewing tools, sewing room tools. Uh, then at 10 o'clock, we've got a reversible charm tote bag. Now, that's designed by Wendy Orlando. Now, we've got panels with 10 inch squares on them, 10 inch um, charm, well we call them charm packs, but layer cakes on them, v exclusive to Sewing Street. Oh, would you like to have a look at that one? Have we not got any pictures of the tote bag? Oh, there's an issue, we've got an issue with Wendy's photos apparently. Did you know there was an issue with your photos? No, she's not happy. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got fabulous fabrics. Oh, now we've got this new fabric. Uh, I, I, imagine, you know those um, jars of sand you spared to buy? I'll just tell you. Hang on, I know they're having issues in there. Um, where you get different coloured sands. Well, imagine that you get all pu different purple sands, or all different yellow sands, or all different red sands. It's like that, but fabrics are. Then we go to Yarn Lane. Oh, they're already going. They're already going already. And then at 12 o'clock, we go to Yarn Lane. Block of the Month, part four. That's not on pre-order yet, but it will be later on in the day. But there are three ways. Three ways. Three ways. Three ways. Oh, it's going to be a long day. Three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, uh, studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, you can send a message via Facebook Live, which are all the ones I've been shouting out. Good morning, Hannah, Emma, Elliot and John. Must be a cold morning. The bed is swamped with cats. It's freezing this morning. It was so cold this morning. 
Lorraine says, I've got this light box. It's fantastic. Carol says, good morning. Anne says, good morning. Kirst oh, I've done Kirsty's there. Uh, who else? Lynn Tewitt says, morning, John team. I had a great day at Festival of Quilts. I felt really safe. So many stunning quilts on display. Right, and the third way is you can go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. You click on watch the live show. There's the early bird there if you want it now. Uh, there's the box on the right hand side. If you want to send a message to the studio that goes in a white box on the bottom, that's the way you send it. Hello, John. I'm Hannah. I have missed you. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, you have to. Uh, <laughs> she's been nice, but it's been a while. We haven't seen each other for a few days. In a minute, she'll say, I think we. Halfway through the show, she'll do this. She'll go. I think we need a day off from each other, don't we, John? And I'll be like, oh, I'm perfectly happy. I thought there was nothing wrong. But she often, she often says it. She often says it. Suzanne says, good morning uh, to John and the team. Have a good day. We will. Right now, also, uh, you've got to scroll down the page. Now, you can see there's a pre-order there. In a minute, there will be two columns. One on the left-hand side will say, show today, show deals. That's everything that we have shown you already. The one on the right-hand side, which is what you're seeing in full screen now, is pre-order. So look at these gorgeous fabrics. The Moda Lulu. That's the blue bundle. There's a... Oh, I haven't got that bundle. There's an orange and cream bundle. Um, oh, okay, well, we'll go, we'll go through it when we get to it. There's the mega bundle. On the right-hand side is the mega bundle there. No, I don't think that picture's right either. Um, anyway, 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 so there's all the bits and bobs you might need for the first act. It's all about the fabric. They're all available in the half metre as well. Then, that's when your Lando, she'll just be showing you a few sewing tips in that hour. Then, oh, okay, so we've missed, we've, they're in a different order, because here's Wendy Orlando's second hour. So that's her 10 o'clock hour. That's the summer, that's the charm tote bag that she's designed using our exclusive 10 inch charm packs on a, on a panel. Uh, then we'll scroll back further down now. Oh, here we go. So now this is the fabric I was telling you about. Look, we've got it in so many colors. Look at the price. I've told you that fabrics are going to be going up, haven't I? $5.99 for half a metre. Oh, look at the black one. Stratosphere. Right. There are bundles. There's a bundle there of all of them with half a metre for free. Then, oh, then there's a neutral bundle and an autumn bundle. Then, this is the tent. This is the nine o'clock hour, you see. <laughs> no. Oh, look. They've not, they've not, they've not done the um, early bed prices, look. Don't worry, Wendy's not doing the, an EPP expert show today. Uh, we'll move on. Don't you laugh, I was watching. Uh, extra wide backing. And then some, oh, lots, lots of gorgeousness coming up there. Some cave there. Got the cave. Oh, now, I didn't see it there, but we've got the cave book if you'd missed out over the weekend. <laughs> okay, I've got very confused. Right. The cave book is tomorrow. Why can't we do it today then? Oh, okay, so that we're going to recap the book tomorrow. So we'll show you some of the interviews maybe tomorrow as well. And then uh, today we've got some cave challenge charm packs. And the quilts are for tomorrow as well then. Yes, it is, yes. I bought the A4 light box to view some large slides as I couldn't, uh, could, oh hang on, I bought the A4 light box to use some large slides as I have, as I couldn't find a viewer in the right size to view them. Oh, I didn't know what, oh I see, and you looked at 12 slides together, that's very clever Cousin Susan. Right, so I've done everything haven't I, getting in touch, website, right okay let's go then shall we? Should we go, should we start? I feel like I've forgotten something. No, that wasn't it. Anyway, mega bundle time, mega bundle time, mega bundle. Brand new fabric. It's beautiful. You're going to love, love, love this fabric. Look, sorry, I'll just, I'm just tidying up as I go along here. Graphics coming in. This is the mega bundle. Now, remember, I've got the mega bundle, which will be on split pay. Wait a minute. Um, I've got the mega bundle. I've also got this is a bundle, this is a bundle, this is a bundle, and I've got them all by the half metre as well. Moda Lulu. Uh, you get seven and a half metres, but you get a half metre for free. So uh, it's uh, 52.68 on split pay. That's two split pays of 52.68 if you'd like to buy the mega bundle. You don't have to take the, the split pay if you don't want to. It's there if you want it, that's all. What will happen is you pay the first one today with your P&P. &P. 
uh, so that'd be 52.68 plus 3.95 for your PMP. And then in a month's time, you pay the other 52.68, then it's paid for. No interest charge whatsoever. Now, aren't they beautiful? Let's do the orange ones first. Just stunning. Look, 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 look. Oh, that, I love that one. Hannah's, Hannah's, Hannah's busy typing already. It's only the start of the show. Look, look at that in the navy blue, though. Beautiful. I, th the, I think the blue one might be my favourite bundle, to be honest, if I was going to go for that. But this is the mega. Oh, look. This is your mega bundle. £105.36. pence. Quite a few in baskets. Make sure you check out. Then we've got now, I'm not quite sure what their colour they will have called this background. It's a, it's a latte. I, I'm going to call it latte. Oh, we've called it cream. It's definitely not a cream. But anyway, it's beautiful. Look, same fabrics again, but in the cream background there. So you get all of those in the mega bundle. You get all of those. For £105.36, you get 7.5 metres, 15 fabrics. So you get half a metre for free. They're beautiful, aren't they? One oh five thirty six, brand new today, brand spanking new today. That is okay. Fewer than twenty of those already. Fewer than and it's only twenty past eight already. Fewer than twenty of those. Make sure you check out. Oh, and light boxes. Now I can tell you we had hundreds of light boxes. Um, how many exactly? Nineteen. Nineteen light boxes left. That's it. That's it. So I might not be recapping them in the nine o'clock hour at this rate. We will get more in, but I can't say that we'll get them in at 39.99. Just saying. Not adding any undue pressure. Any undue pressure. Any undue pressure. Right. Shall we move on to the individual bundles now? Which one would you like to do first? Yeah. Blue one here. Now, what I'll do is I'll show you, because what we did was we, oh, you'll meet, you'll see Wendy in a minute. We sent Wendy a bundle of blue and some cream fabric. And we just said to her, oh, it's white. It's white. It's not cream. White fabric. Let's make some things out of this. So I'll take you through the bundle first of all. It's 36 99 You get two and a half metres. Right. The photographs haven't worked. So Wendy will have to hold all of the items to show you. In a minute, in a minute. So what you get in this one, you get half a metre of the flowers, half a metre of the birds. Actually, let's open them. So that's your flowers there. Aren't they lovely? Okay, so Hannah wants to cover buttons with that one. And then this one here, she wants a kimono out of this one. Uh, we'll get Wendy to put the kimono on that she made for you. Then she'd embroider it. No, Wendy was only sent half a metre. Wouldn't even go rounder, would it, half a metre? Anyway, then you've got your lovebirds, or are they swallows? Swallows. Come on, Emma, let's go in close. <coughs> oh, Kate says, morning, John and team. Looks like another lovely day ahead. The swallows fabric is my favourite. Love the blue. That's from Kate. And then look, beautiful flowers on that one. And then, I love this one. I don't know if we've called it, I don't know if it's called, no, we haven't called it anything, bamboo or something like that. So look, there's the blue bundle. I'll fill the whole screen. I'll just move it. Let the camera stay where it is. Morning, John, says Leslie. Beautiful. 36 99 Half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter. Would you like to see some things that Wendy's made out of it? Now, the photographs haven't worked, so Wendy will be modelling them. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning. Tell us what you've made, then. All of this. Out of that bundle? Out of that bundle and ha just half a metre of white. Right. Just half a metre. Right, OK. Um, so I've made a bag. Yeah. And a cushion and a cushion. And with the scraps, because don't forget the little bits that are left over, I've put some Fermilane behind it. So I've made a little pot stand and I've made a makeup bag. No, well, that's got my... Yeah. Um, that's only part of her makeup bag. Obviously, she cuts no, it up with more. No, that's that. got my nail things in there. I've got a bigger one for my makeup. Oh, okay, bag. that's her nail but, things. But, but, yeah. I have used oh. the fabric on the back. Crikey. Don't do that. Yeah. Use just plain fabric. And for the bag, so I've used the bird fabric on the inside. Wow. So you can either have a double bag. Yeah. Or don't do that. Just use plain fabric. So 
this is conservative, this is the absolute minimum that you're going to be able to make, you're going to make nearly If you buy double. the bundle, and it's thirty-six ninety-nine. how much would you pay for two cushions? Do you know, I worked it out the other day that if you were to buy all of this, I think you probably would spend about 120 130 Oh, if you went pounds. to the shops to buy it. If you yeah, went yeah, to the shop the and bought some cushions and a bag <coughs> and everything, mm -hmm. you'd probably be spending at least, oh, at least at 120 pounds. Yeah. But that's only half the story, because if you used your, yeah. your stash and saved this for the front, you could make so much more. The other bundles, if you're thinking, oh, I wanted orange or I wanted cream, the other bundles are exactly the same size. You could make exactly the same thing out of the other bundles as well. That's only out of the blue one. The other bundles are exactly the same size. In fact, let's move on to the next one then. Blue one is very, very popular. And we're going to be going through the, all these available by the half meter as well. Just remember that. Cream one. Now, I would definitely say it was more of a latte, wouldn't you, Wendy Orlando? Uh, cappuccino. Oh, cappuccino? Yeah. Okay. Yes, cappuccino. Matcha. No, matcha's green. Yes, not matcha. Hannah, well, Hannah in the morning, we all have our soya vanilla lattes. Need that. Hannah has to have a matcha. <gasps> what is it? Espresso? No, what's it called? Matcha latte. Oh, but isn't matcha tea? Oh, I suppose it's like a chai tea latte. There we go. This is the cream bundle, exactly the same style, the same fabrics, but just with the cream background. Look, lovely, aren't they? What's the matter with you two? Look, aren't they beautiful? So you, all that bundle there, thirty-six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Two and a half meters of fabric. Stuart has black short espresso. When, when Emma, next time you go, Ned, we'll get one for Stuart. He has a. I don't know what a short espresso is. I thought espresso was little anyway. I hate people that go espresso. That really that makes me angry, because it's an espresso, not espresso, espresso. Oh, do, and a cotado, cotado is what. I think Hannah's had too much time on her own this weekend. Yeah, yeah, Anna made her boyfriend do all the washing up this weekend and he wasn't very happy. Hannah had cooked, supplied the food, supplied everything else. He was just actually the washing up and he wasn't. I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast doing this washing up, he says. Maybe if he bought you a dishwasher for your Christmas present. Oh, she's got... oh well, it's his own fault then. She's got a dishwasher. She's got a dishwasher. I won't use my dishwasher either. I won't. Anyway, moving on. Now, 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 now the picture on the web is wrong on this one. This is exactly the same. You're getting five half meters of the orange, the Modolulu orange. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look. So we've got the flowers. Now in a minute, I'm going to offer all of these by the half meter. So you can mix and match if you want to, couldn't you? That's beautiful, isn't it? Are they magpies? Then. No, they're not magpies. Hannah loves orange. And you know what they say about the colour orange, don't you? They're not magpies. She's just talking about them because they keep getting stuck in her chimney. Look, there you go. There's all the orange ones. Half a metre of each again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ignore the website picture. It is wrong. This is what you're getting for your bundle of orange. Because in a minute I'm going to do them all by the half metre, so you can mix and match the different colours if you like. I think that'd be quite nice. I love the blue. Oh, you must be careful of the blue bundle, everybody. Blue bundle. Oh, sorry, you're just looking at the orange one now. I'm just doing sorting out while I'm sitting here waiting. This is just the blue bundle, the, the orange bundle, sorry, you've got in the graphics at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorting them out, Reggie, by the half metre, and Hannah's like, I want to do the blue bundle again. I'm like, All right, then. Right, so this is the orange one here, 36 99 <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, so Hannah's just saying, uh, if we haven't worked together for a few days, it all goes horribly wrong. And if we have worked together for a few days, it goes horribly wrong because she's bored of me. There's an hour when we work well together, on a, usually on a, about a Wednesday, 11 o'clock. <laughs> so hang on, so I'm in this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Hannah's in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Is that right? Cat, cat, we got, we got to the end of the day. You're saying cat was like, Hannah's in all, Hannah's in all. We, oh, no. who's doing the day you're not in there? Yes, I had, a, I could feel a cough. Who? Oh, okay, we, sorry, we could hear Wendy talking. The microphone wasn't off. Sorry about that. If you heard her at home saying anything that she shouldn't be saying. <laughs> right, I'm just going to redo the blue bundle now. It is the most popular. Wendy can feel a cough coming on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think Wendy thinks if you walk out the studio, your microphone stops working, you see. There you go. There's the blue bundle. Beautiful. Loads of the blue one in baskets. Well done. And they're all beautiful. I, 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 I just, I like the blue one as well, because I like, when you have colour, I like the dark background. So you know that, don't you? I know, and the, it's lovely having it in the navy blue, isn't it? So that's your blue bundle there, but be careful if you've got that in your basket. Now, I can now sort them out, because I'm now going to do them by the half metre. <laughs> She's back, everybody. We could hear you. That's all right, that's all right. She's new to television. I can feel the cough coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't, it's worse, because when we were at Sony Quarter, we used to have directors that forgot to switch the microphones off in the break. And you'd often hear me going, I'm just going to the bathroom, or I'm just doing this, I'm just... In, in the middle of the advert, you'd hear... <laughs> right, which pattern shall we start with, Hannah? The one with birds, right, that's this one. So now I've got this in three different colours. I'll start with the navy, blue, or we just called it blue. We will get to do some sewing in a minute. This is more about the fabric this hour than it is about the sewing. Good morning, John, says Margaret. Great shirt this morning. Thank you very much indeed. This is my autumnal shirt, this one. Right, okay. So this is beautiful, look. So, no. Somebody must have moved the desk over the weekend. There you go. £7.49 for half a metre. Moda Lulu in the large mid... Oh, midnight, they've called it. Large midnight blue floral. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful colours in there. Oh, hang on. What's wrong with that bird there? Oh, is it upside down? There you go. Oh, that's what you're trying to tell me. I thought Wendy was trying to unscrew the desk. And she was telling me I've got it upside down. I mean, I, we do ignore it normally. Now, I might need to start packing as the show goes on because I've got to go to the dentist straight after the show today. Morning, lovely man. Oh, I wonder who Maria's watching. <coughs> she says, morning, lovely man. You said you'd forgotten something. Yes, you have. It's my birthday. I think you should blow me a birthday kiss. <coughs> Maria, happy birthday, my lovely. Hope you have a fabulous day. Buy some fabric to celebrate. Because it's all about the fabric this hour. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? <coughs> I think I might have to turn the air con off. It's making me cough a lot today, isn't it? Yep, yeah, next one is the, uh, do you want orange or cream? Cream, next. Oh, a lot of these have gone on pre-order, just be careful. No, come on. There we go. I'm sure they must be lovebirds. 100% mm -hmm. cotton, 44 inches wide, from Moda, Lulu by Chermois. It's Moda. That's why it says in the graphics, look, Moda, Lulu. Becky Alexander Frost says, morning, everyone. That's gorgeous fabric, isn't it just? Look, shame why, it is not share. Shame why, that's Lulu by At My House. Shame why, At My House. Morning, says Emma Bradford, gorgeous fabric. <clears throat> now, she sent a question mark. <clears throat> she said, two kisses, a question mark and a kissy face. 
Did you do some lovely films from the Festival of Quilts, Emma Bradford? And loads of people have talked about, have you done a new advert yet? Oh, Wendy. Everyone's saying how Emma Bradford's advert, she sounds really posh on it. She obviously had a voice coach or something. So. Morning, John and team from a sunny St Albans, says that Julie. Lovely, isn't it? Okay, and then it comes on orange as well. Right, there's fewer than 10 metres left of the cream already. Already. Right, there's the orange one. You see, I think that's so summery, isn't it? I'm thinking conservatories. I'm thinking gardens. 7.49, half a metre. Modo Lulu in orange. This one's called Songbird. They don't look like they're singing to me. What, you think one's singing to the other? No, I think they're going, look at her over there. What's she doing over there showing off? Yeah. This is Hannah. Don't you love me, Stefan? Well, I'm having a blast doing the washing up. Beautiful, gorgeous colours, beautiful colours. Ellen says, morning, John and team. The little birds could be swallows. I think that. I think that, Ellen, as well. I think my lovey faces are coming through as question marks, technical difficult. It'll be us, Emma. Won't be you, it'll be us. It's not you, Emma, it's me. Beautiful, isn't it? 7.49 for the orange. They're all 7.49. I don't know why I said that for the orange. We could do the bamboo-esque ones now in blue. What do they call it? Let's see what they call it. Oh, this could be our name for it, though, mind you. Blue multi-stripe. Yeah, that'll be our name. <laughs> oh. Yeah, got the elephant, the pet elephant upstairs this week. Oh, and, and then... Beautiful. Keep going through. Keep, isn't it lovely? I love those colours in there. I used to wear, now I'm going back a bit to the late 70s now. Wendy won't remember this because she was quite old by then. Um, little beads. We used to wear long... Oh, she's just, she's just caught on now. She's on delay. She, like, she heard it about 10 minutes later. Little beads. We used to wear them around her neck and wrap them around your wrist and everything. If they broke. It was a nightmare. But Mer Midnight Blue Multi-Stripe. Mm? No. It was just they were cheap and they broke a lot. Uh, no, we weren't allowed to wear jewellery to school. I got sent home one day for wearing socks with a red stripe on them from my school. They were so strict about the uniform. Miss Salmon sending me home. Fiona Hesford says, good morning, everyone. Fiona, I love your new pattern. Marina says, morning, gorgeous. Not sure who she's watching either. It must mean Wendy. Oh, Hannah, sorry. She didn't mean Hannah. There we go. Hannah's coming in a party dress this morning. We were like, oh. Oh, you come straight from a nightclub and she went, it was the only thing that was clean and doesn't need ironing. Um, uh, cream now. Also, she, she did send me a text because in the morning there's no bus to get Hannah here in time. So she has to get an Uber and she doesn't look up. She gets in the car and goes, morning, and then sits down on her phone. You know when you do a chip every morning, you know the body, your body sways around the car. And she was like, mm, hang on, I'm going the opposite way to where I normally go. And she looked out and it was all suddenly beautiful countryside. And she was like, oh, and then she thought she was being abducted. And then she realised he was following his sat-nav, so he could Why watching his, his sat-nav meant she wasn't being abducted, I don't know. But anyway, she texted me saying, I don't, I'm going to be late. Don't know where I am, but it's very beautiful around here. And then she arrived, she arrived, having been to Greg's and had th eaten three sausage rolls and a vegan bake across the car park. Beautiful. These are just lovely, aren't they? You're not... Well, you're not, Hannah. You're looking good at the moment. Right, I'm not, not complimenting her. Just saying. Now we've got it in the orange. Very different. Looks very different in the orange, doesn't it? 7.49. You see, Hannah likes the orange one best. You see, I like the blue. Which is your favourite, Wendy? All of them. Oh, you like it? She likes all of them. She doesn't have favourites. Oh, finally, the picture's arrived. Gorgeous. Then, which pattern do you want to do next, then? Oh, the swallow's all over. In the blue. 
Now this one reminds me of something. I can't think what it is. I haven't got a shirt with swallows on. Oh, yes, Hannah's got a dress made out of a fabric very like this. Not as good quality as this. She didn't get it from here. Uh, morning, Hannah. Apparently my biker neighbours know your mum and dad. Small world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, here you go. Uh, Jan says, Lula Lula, hang on, Lula is the genus of woodlark songbirds in the family of the Aluadi Dardus. Morning, John and Wendy. Thank you, Jan. No, I, oh, Jan, I forgot to wake you up with the early bird. Sorry. I'm Jan's alarm clock now. So the telly comes on. I go, Jan, it's the early bird. Forgot to do it this morning. We were in too much of a flummoxy, you know what I mean? In the olden days, in the olden days, I'd have been the man that banged on your window to wake you up because Hannah's worried about who would wake up the wakey-uppy man. Mm. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're Swifts, apparently. They're Swifts. Emma Bradford says they're definitely Swifts. Aren't Swifts and Swallows the same? Oh, hang on. Oh, because her company's called Swift, isn't it? She'll know. She'd know. Aren't Swifts and Swallows related? Anyway, they've both got the forked tails, haven't they? Anyway, moving on to the cream now. Yeah, there's uh, there's no patterns for this hour, but Wendy will explain in a second. I'll, as soon as I've done all the fabrics, we'll let Wendy do some sewing. She won't have many minutes left at this rate, but we'll let her do some sewing. Don't waste she's on for three hours today. You'll get you full of her, fill of her. I mean, cream songbird, this one's called. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's not songbird. Yeah, but wasn't this fabric called Songbird? Oh, please make sure that you take note of this, because this and the big Songbird. No, it isn't. Yeah. Hannah's not woken up properly yet. Check your codes. That's the most important thing. No, they shouldn't be called the same name, should they? Uh, and then I've got the orange Songbird. Nice, isn't it? That's reminded me of holidays, that one is now. Carol says, good morning, everyone. Love the fabric. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lulu in orange songbird. Oh, no, this is called Lulu. No, the whole... Oh, I'm confused. Just take note of the, co of the codes. That's the thing you need to do. Oh, Swifts don't have red on, so I think they're Swallows. Have they all got red on them? Oh, yeah, they have. Oh, I just thought they were carrying a cherry back to the nest or a cranberry. Right, which one next? <laughs> okay, I've got two floral ones left. The one, the one with big flowers on. Okay, big flowers, okay. There you go. So let's see if we've caught this one, Songbird, as well. Lulu in Midnight, this one's called. Blue Floral. My favourite. This one is Wendy's favourite. What do you say, Hannah? Yeah, there is a Liberty one very similar to this in a smaller print, in a smaller print. We had a Liberty Miss It Miss Out show yesterday. Blimey. Blimey. There's very little Liberty left in the building now. <clears throat> you remember Carnival, which we had all those fabrics. There's about four of them left now. No, don't mean Carnaby, I mean Carnaby, don't they? Carnaby, sorry. That's beautiful, isn't it? Carnaby range, the last one we had. Right, okay, and then I've got that one in uh, cream now. This one make a lovely dress, I think, lovely summer dress, that one. Nice, isn't it, that one? Uh, Hannah would cover her walls in this. Morning, John and crew. These fabrics are lovely. A little bit 70s. Oh, Anne, what were the 70s like? Oh, God, if I think about the late 70s, all those disco dancing down at Tiffany's, going to quaint ways on a Monday night. <gasps> Bless you. Well, if you were alive in the 70s, Emma, you'd be old like me now, so be careful of what you wish for. Right, then I've got this one in the orange. Oh, bang, bang on your microphone. Thank you. It's all right. Uh, 
But John, I think you should tell Wendy. You should tell Wendy. Time's up. Third. Oh. <laughs> I will. I will, Violet. <laughs> oh, you're. Oh, you evil, Violet. But made me laugh. Right, seven forty-nine. I'll tell you in a minute. Seven forty-nine. Half a meter. And then last but not least, we've got the single flowers now in the blue. We've called it the same name, so please take note of the um, code, the item code number when it comes in. There you go. Because we called it, oh no, large midnight that one is. That's a large, no. Yeah, this is what you'll get. If you order C Siwi 176, this is what you'll get. Ignore the writing, because we called the other one large floral as well, didn't we, in midnight. Okay, that's the blue one. Now I've got it in cream. You ready? You're nearly ready, Wendy, because there's just two fabrics and you've got to sew. Right, here we go. It's all about the fabric in this hour. Wendy's doing sewing in, in one other hour and knitting and crochet in her other hour. So she's here for, you'll see plenty of her. This one's called, just called Moda Lulu in cream multi. Oh, actually, now this one's called multi. Right, that's not large. That one was called large, wasn't it? The blue one. Ignore the words. Completely ignore the words. Just go by the codes. We'll have a word with them later. This will have been Ryan on a Friday afternoon, I imagine. When he was off to, he was off to um, Festival of Quilts going, will there be any fitties there? I didn't know he had his lips done. I didn't know he had, I didn't know he was that done. You know. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that, but. Oh. Maria says, I, I will get some of this Mar oh, for her birthday, for Maria's birthday. Waiting for, my so for any Sewing Street vouchers. Anybody who wants to send Maria Sewing Street vouchers? Uh, morning, I love Wendy, she says. Oh, Well, someone has to. Right, last but not least, last but not least, we've got the orange. She's glaring at me now. Orange, she hasn't seen me for a long time. I think she put, yeah, exactly. I think she'd said she only wanted to work Mondays. And I don't normally do Mondays, do I? It's normally Rebecca Reed. And I've been telling everyone, I'm not Rebecca Reed, by the way. Yeah, but, but I've, been saying, I've been saying to everyone, oh, Rebecca Reed, she's on a honeymoon. She's on a honeymoon. Not even thinking, right? She's, she's not on a honeymoon at all. She's on a wedding anniversary week in the Little Islands in Scotland. That's where she is. She's not going to turn up. She won't just turn up today. Yes. Yeah, so I said to her last week, well, so I'm doing your shift on Monday, aren't you? She went, no, I'm in on Monday. I'm going away the following week. So I was like, no, I'm not in. Anyway, I'm here. She's not. So she was wrong. Julie, John, you love Wendy, really. Uh, Julie, who's Wendy? Right, now, how rude. Now, just very quickly, remember, there's a mega bundle. And the mega, mega bundle is all of those. All the photos should be correct now. You get all of those in the Mega Bundle, 105.36. Uh, you get half a metre for free. We've got a bundle of blue on its own, which is hugely popular. And it's been used to... Oh, here, you can see Wendy's picture now. She spent all weekend doing draping. What on earth is it on? That's why it didn't. It took so long to come through, because it's all those fronds. She got a Maribou bedspread, do you think? Anyway, so that's the blue bundle, two and a half metres. You can make all of that plus half a metre of white. Then I've also got the bundle in cream. Yeah. You can do exactly the same thing as this, but we only said... So we sent Wendy uh, all the bundles, but she chose to make that one out of the blue. She's going to demo in the cream or talk about the cream and the orange in a minute. And then there's the orange bundle. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my bad. Thirty-six ninety-nine. Right, Wendy is here now. I'm, I know a lot of people going. Oh, where's where we haven't had any sewing? We haven't had any sewing. Wendy's an added bonus in this hour. This hour was meant to be a fabric hour, but she was an added bonus. I have just got to tell you one other thing before I go to Wendy, though. Quilters ten-inch square pre-cut companion. They're not 10 inch squares, but Wendy's used this as inspiration. Oh, 20% off. <laughs> Wendy didn't get 20% off hers. I have no idea. Oh, uh, no, I've got no idea. 
No, Yarn Lane's um, 20% off books on Wednesday, but this isn't even the same make of the one that we're all doing 20% off on Wednesday. <laughs> anyway, 7 19 It's really lovely book, look, with all different ideas. Always sells out, could be, because we've taken 20% off when we shouldn't have 20% off it, really. Right, Wendy, it's your turn. I have never been called an added bonus before. Well, there you go. Oh, now Violet says, time's up, Wendy, end of the hour. That was what I was laughing at, because Wendy said... Went the, I was going to say, do you want to do the roundup now? Yeah, yeah, so, so <laughs> Violet said, as soon as she starts, tell her, oh, your time's up now, Wendy. I knew that was coming. I absolutely knew that was coming. Oh, OK. This book is brilliant. I'm sorry, I personally have this book. So this is the one that was sent to me, but I actually have this in my uh -huh. stash, yep. because it's a real brilliant go-to, this one. OK. Now, the, Talk about the fabric. Oh, yeah. These here have been made from one panel in here. Right. Because you put it together as a big panel and then you cut it down into four. So I've used two for the bag. Right. And then one on the cushion and one on the cushion. And it's the easiest panel in the world to make. Okay. But look how effective it is. I know, it's lovely. Now I haven't, um, with this one, you know you were saying it's like latte. If yeah. I can show this one. That's cream. So oh, you know. know you were saying yeah. you, it's not cream. Yeah. It isn't cream because it is much, it's much richer than that. So you've it? used cream with that one, so not I've the white used, one. I've used cream with this one. Yeah. And then with these ones, I've used white. The white. Purely um, because the darker they are, if you put something really light against it, it's really going to pop. Yeah. Whereas with this one, I wanted it to be quite subtle. You know, right. I know I don't normally do subtle, but no. I wanted it to be quite subtle. Um, and that's really, really easy. Now, this is my absolute favourite. This one. These ones are my... Oh! <laughs> nearly. We nearly got her. <laughs> these ones are my favourite. This fabric is just... It stands on its own. Uh -huh. It's unbelievable. So you don't need to have anything with it. No. It's just fantastic. They're absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, no, totally, totally. Um, I, I have quilted those ones. So, um, again, if you've, if you've got your basket open, then that's a good idea. I think you've got that coming up later. later 80 in, 40, 80 40 coming up in the next yeah, hour. Yeah, that's an absolute <coughs> go-to for mine. Um, and 80 20 wadding in the next hour as well. So I was just going to show you, actually, how to make... Is that okay? To yeah, make, yeah, go for it. Um, I was just going to show you how to make one of the... Um, Violet says, sorry, Wendy, I do love you. <laughs> she knows that. She knows that, Violet. Yes. And again, I don't know if you've got it in stock. Best press. It's absolutely when you're Yes, doing... now. We had it back yesterday. So we'll just double check. We've only, we only had the scent free, but because... Anna from Alex Caroline was using it. A lot went, so it might have. We might have sold out. If Look you on can, the website. If you can just keep your eye out for that, because you're doing, especially in this case, it starts off as a big square. So you're going to have the bias there. You're going to have quite a big, okay. um, a, a lot of fabric in in one sew line. And this one here is in the book. Yeah. And it's absolutely. You can so see. you're using the cream bundle now with just, half a meter of cream. Half. Yeah. That's well. I don't know how much you would need if you were making the quilt because yes, this oh, is yes, but predominantly be, a quilt yeah. book, but yeah. I very rarely make a quilt from a quilt book. Yeah. It's always inspiration that I go for. Um, and this one is one of the easiest blocks that you could ever make, okay. but it's, it's that thing again where it looks complicated. Uh, Carol's just said, I read this wrong. I said, I thought it said, I love it when Wendy makes a mistake, right? <gasps> but it actually says, I love all that Wendy makes. <laughs> Right, go on then. Oh, I've made them, you know me, because you're sitting there cringing sometimes thinking she's Never. doing that wrong. She, oh, Never. yes, you do. So I just wanted to show you that um, right from the start, actually how to cut out the, the 10 inch square. So, right, so what are you doing now? You've just got two so squares. I have got, and I've cut them out at the same time because then you know they're going to be absolutely spot on together. And you're okay. poking a face at me. But well, they're supposed so, to be the same size, are they? No, no, I'm going to cut them to the oh, same sorry, size. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So I've got... You can't see it because they look the same both, but I've got right sides together uh -huh. because that's what we're going to be doing in a minute. So if you cut them right sides together, they're going to be absolutely spot on. Yeah. And then all I'm doing is I'm just, just got to make sure I've got enough. I'm just squaring one of the sides off because we haven't got, I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of a stripology, but I know that not everyone's got one. So yeah. if you haven't got one, it doesn't matter. I did change my blade, so behave. So then I just wanted to show you how to cut out something that is wider than your ruler. Now, right. if I'd have got the rotating mat, that would have made a lot more sense. There. Would I? know, I know. Just going to move him out of the way. Oh. I know, I know. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've just cut this side here uh -huh. so that it's square. Well, it's straight. It's not square at the moment. It's straight. Yeah. And then I'm, I need a 10-inch square. Right. So I'm placing that against the 10-inch. 
and I'm just making sure that that line lines up against the side of the fabric and then I'm just going to cut down here. Now what you can do, you can just move that out of the way and you can use that as your line that up and, and right. then cut. Or I tend to go all the way up the side of the fabric, then I know it's absolutely going to be spot on. And then just lining it up. And then I'm for speed, I'm going to cut it the other way because it, it does take a little bit longer this time. And then I'm just lining it up on the 10 inch either each time. And then all I'm going to do is going to square this side off. So I'm just going to place one of the darker lines against the bottom, making sure that I've got enough, you can see the fabric, uh -huh. squaring it off. And then this time I will, well, I mean, I've only got two cuts, haven't I? So 10 inch, because you, you start off with a square here. Now I've been a little bit um, wasteful, I probably because yeah, I've wasted a little bit. Yeah. But keep these pieces because, as you can see behind, I've got um, like a not a coaster. I can't think what it's called where you put a pot stand on. Yeah. So I've used all the little bits of fabric that I had left over. Now these we're going to be making half square triangles. And right. Don't don't groan at me, but these no, are. No, the, why would I groan? Because um, I know that the half square triangles. I do make them a lot. I do apologise. Yeah. Making them different. I've lost my foot. You've lost a little. I've stopper lost my little your foot, stopper. Yeah. Yes, I, I will be phoning Gary later and saying, "Please, could he's you send busy. Me? He'll be sleeping today. Cause <laughs> he's been at a festival of quilts." Or um, now, with this one, normally I'm doing all drawing and goodness knows what. Yeah. Place right sides together, making sure they line up perfectly. And I am pinning this time. I don't normally. I just go for it normally. Uh -huh. But this time I want to keep them together. Can't pick the pins up today, and I have got big heads on them. Right, and I'm just going to, what we've time, have I got, have I got enough time? Don't keep going, I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> um, all I'm going to do is sew a quarter inch all the way round the outside. Right. And that's all okay. I'm oh, doing. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, you see. Oh, okay. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Well, sort of. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm doing, don't you? Yeah. You do know what I'm doing. And I'm just using the um, quarter inch setting on my machine. Uh-huh. Oh, it's been very loud today, isn't it? <laughs> I do apologise. That's all right. It's because I'm so <coughs> short, isn't it? And my microphone's quite close to it. Is that what it is, do you think? Yeah, I, I, I keep saying, don't I? I could do with another six inches. Oh, I'm, I'm quite far enough there. All the way around the outside. Now, the brilliant thing about this book is you cut them to size afterwards. And I am a huge lover of when the instructions say trim to size, because that way you know all of the squares are going to be absolutely the same. Yeah. So I've gone all the way around the outside. Now, this is the important part, because I now need to cut this. Oh, dear, not good. Brilliant. So those two pieces have now been sewn right sides together. So now I'm going to, this, the only downside this machine is very big, isn't it? So yeah. it takes up a lot of space. Right, so I'm going to be cutting from one diagonal to the other. Mm -hmm. Now this is where your rotating mat is brilliant because what you don't want to do is move the fabric. So I'm going to be cutting. Available on the website. Mind you, how big is that square? 10, Ten inches. Inch, oh, yeah. you'll be fine. You're yeah, It's about 12 and a half inches, isn't it? Brilliant. Now, Carol, there's a story behind that. We'll talk about it later. Loving Wendy's nail, says Carol. You keep cutting. So I'm trying <laughs> not to move it. Now, you might get a little bit of movement as, as I have here. So just place it back together again. So I've cut it a lot across one diagonal. So now I'm going to be cutting it across the other. And do try and be as accurate as you can. But you will have a small, small bit of wiggle room because we're going to be trimming these down to size. So now I have got four half square triangles Ta -da! how easy i actually uh, find that much easier oh, to and do oh it's being scrunched up <laughs> <laughs> i was going to i was going to iron them i was looking for my mat wall pressing mat wall press i absolutely love this and then all i'm going to do is iron them oh, see i haven't cut that i'm going to iron them to the dark side and all that simply means is the darker of the two fabrics you iron the excess seam behind that uh -huh. so if you have that facing so i've got my darker fabric on top i'm just going to set those stitches in because we've done a lot of needle up and down along that seam so i'm just molding them back into shape and then i fold oh did i mention 
Best press. I best pressed all these first. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because you asked if it was in stock and I had the whole conversation. But I didn't actually that. say that I'd done it, did I? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you best press them because, as I say, you, you have got that bias. So you don't want to stretch that. Yeah. And then all we do, we do that for the same on all of them. Mandy Walsh is loving the fabric. It's beautiful, isn't it? I'll do a roundup in a minute for you, Mandy. <laughs> Do you need to go to the roundup now, John? No, you keep going. <laughs> I had an absolute ball. In fact, I, I said to Jess, I said, oh, just to let you know, I'm making, I'm, I'm just going to make loads with this. And I didn't want to stop because it's just phenomenal fabric. It's just gorgeous. And you could, this here, the one that I made here, um, I made as a cushion, but there's nothing to stop you making a quilt. And instead no. of sewing them all together like they do as a quilt, add a border on before you sew them together. And then you've got an even different look. So, and then all we do, brilliant. We, we trim these now. Uh -huh. We got to trim them. And if I get a six and a half, that is six and a half, isn't it? Inch ruler. I'm just going to trim these off to six and a half. Right, again, if you've got your stripology, that's amazing for this. Mm -hmm. And because I have got a six and a half inch ruler, I can just. I should have got the rotating one, shouldn't I? Oh, that's defeated the object because now it's Did moved. you ask for it? Well, now it's down there, but I, yeah. yeah, I forgot. I forgot. And it's not a mind reader. <laughs> She's many things, but not a mind reader. And then I'm just going to trim it the other way. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to get, I know that I'm not going to get time to do this. Right. Um, because it's nine o'clock. And don't want to go over. But I just want to show you what you do. Yeah. So you would trim all... Oh, the Best Press Scent Free is available. Oh. The scent, yeah, the scent free is lovely. 11 .99. Now, somebody messaged in for you, at Hannah, over the weekend because they just found, and it was a scent I've never heard of. I know. Mm. Right, so now... Festival of quilt. What we want to do is we want to kind of make a pinwheel. So these right. have all been trimmed. I've only done one, but yeah, you trim yeah, them yeah, all. Yeah. So you would lay it on in the same position. Yeah. But then you would just rotate it 90 degrees. Uh-huh. So I'm going to lay it on, rotate it lay it on and then rotate it okay and then you would sew am i i haven't got time to cut them that's the thing I no no don't worry, don't worry don't worry so don't then worry. you would sew these two together yeah and then you would sew these two okay together. i want to ask a quick question that's a pinwheel but i want to ask a quick question because that would be the center of that cushion you've got there how did you make those arrowheads without um, cutting them or anything but right so you put all this together so you now have your square yeah then you cut this down into three and you uh, cut that down into three. So it's like three. a disappearing nine pack. It's but you just, oh, absolutely wow. amazing. To look at this, it so looks so So you've made so that hard. cushion from a big pinwheel. I've made that. Yeah. From that. So that, could just put the cushion back on. So that little centre there yeah. is the centre of what you've got on your the block underneath. And then the rest is made by cutting across, 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 across. So if I show... This yep, one, perfect. you can see this one here. Yeah. So I've got three squares. Yeah. Three squares. Three squares. So once I've made the initial pinwheel, I just slice it into three, cut it into three. Yeah. And then cut it into three. And then you just sew them back together again in a certain way. And it gives you this block. Now, um, it was one of the easiest but most complicated looking blocks. Because yeah, you know I'm, I'm There a it fan. is, there it is. Disappearing pinwheel arrow. It's in the book. Mm. I'm an absolute fan of making something look harder than it actually is. Mm. And this, see how easy that is? Yeah. You just start off with the pinwheel. And then once you've sewn the pinwheel. And then you cut the there, cut there, yes. cut there, cut there. That makes the little pinwheel yep. in the middle. Then you've got your half square triangle there. Mm. Then you've got your square cut directly in half there. The other half square triangle there. The only thing that I would say with this, it tells you to cut them down to size, which is amazing. I'm a huge fan of that. When it, when you have to cut these into thirds, it says about. Oh, okay. Now, I, it says about four and an eighth. Yeah. So I cut it a four and an eighth and a smidgen. And then I found that that worked. Don't, don't cut two four and an eighth, two yeah. four eighth, four and an eighth, because that one's going to be quite a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But if you do four and an eighth and some, then, and then you just put it back together. It's fantastic. One of my favourite blocks, because look, 
how incredible that's fantastic that looks. and it looks lovely in that fabric as well doesn't it it does right very quick roundup the, the, uh, wendy is back in an hour's time doing more sewing she's doing one of her own design so there won't be as i, I won't talk as much so when you'll get f a full hour of wendy basically right so, okay i've done the book uh mega bundle Mega bundle, you get a half metre of absolutely everything. There's uh, 15 pieces of fabric there, seven and a half metres of fabric. You get half a metre for free. <clears throat> it's 105.36, but is available on split pay. There it is, 52.68, two payments, 52 pounds and 68 pence. Susan says, I love this book. Wendy makes the blocks look so easy. I know. There you go, so you've got the blue, the cream and the orange. Please check out if you've got that in your basket. Okay, over half of you got that in your basket you haven't checked out yet. Please be careful because when you start checking out, that means it'll all be gone. So please, please, please be careful. Yeah, so when you check out, single figures on that one. Right, blue, first of all, so this is a bundle here. That's, you can make all of those with this bundle and half a metre of white fabric. Third, you have to buy the white fabric, it's not in the bundle, obviously. 36 99 so you get half a metre of that. Half a metre of that, half a metre of the swallows, half a metre of the, I call it bamboo, half a metre of the lovebirds. There are more people want that bundle than there are in baskets. However, you could create that by buying, if it, if it sold out when you come to check out, you could create that by buying half a metre of each of the fabrics. Do you know what I mean? It's just a hassle, isn't it? Right, then we've got it in the cream, which I would call latte. Beautiful, look, so you get cream, half a metre of each of those. That looks so vintage, doesn't that look like something my nan would have? It's lovely. That one looks like a parrot, that one there, doesn't it? Look. Oh, maybe not. Upside down it looked like a parrot. I find doing a pinwheel a bit difficult to understand the measurement, says uh, Alan. Buy the book, Alan. You won't be confused at all. And then now, the orange one, if you look at it on the website, some people's, it's really weird, they've changed it. Some people's have changed and some people's haven't. We don't know why. But anyway, it's the same thing again. You don't get all the creams if you look on the website. You just get the five fabrics there, half a metre of each, 36 99 Lovely, isn't it? As I say, Wendy will be back in an hour. Oh, Tilly's watching. Uh, now, have you got a picture of what Wendy will be doing in an hour's time? Has that not arrived yet? That's not arrived. Oh, we do. We do, we do, we do. Here we go. I just want to show you what Wendy's doing in now, and I won't be talking as much. Uh, there it is. It's the crafty bag. Again, it's on the polar bear bedspread. Uh, three different colourways. That's two of them, and there's a third one that you'll see. Okay, no, there's no third thing, because it's not made yet, Hannah. That's why you've not got the third one. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, this washing up's a chore, I know how he feels now. Um, we've done panels with 10-inch charm packs on. So even if you don't want to use them to make the um, bag, you can use them for other projects. We'll bring this back. We'll bring this back in the next hour if there's any left. We'll see you. Now, I'll be back in now on my own. Not in an hour. I'll be back in three minutes on my own with Sewing Room Essentials. We'll see you in three. Hi, my name is Yvonne Makatamne. My passion is patchwork and quilting, and it's also my privilege to own Village Fabrics Patchwork and Quilting Shop in Wallingford. Um, my sewing life began whenever, before probably I, before I went to school, certainly, and probably before I could uh, read. Uh, my mum was always a sewer, and with two big sisters, we would, every weekend, there would be a new dress made, and I was allowed to do certain pieces and as I got older I started to make some dresses. My top tip is you don't have to be able to draw to design. The place that I always start is with a children's colouring in book. They have good bold outlines and then you can trace that and adapt to your heart's content. Anybody can do it. My claim to fame is that last year, when things were good, we had Jenny Doan from Missouri Star Quilt Company come and do a meet and greet at my shop in Wallingford. We had a really enjoyable day and good fun was had by all. 
So I hope I'll be popping into your living rooms on a regular basis as we go forward with Sewing Street here. We are intending to bring you some absolute beginner kits as well as some of our more intricate designs. See you soon. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family run customer service team are on call 24 7. they're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible and not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out Got lots of goodies for you this hour. Uh, in fact, it's only 50 minutes now because obviously I have to come off in time for Wendy to come back to do her next hour. So now, where shall we start? That's you, Hannah. You have to make that decision. Hannah's going, oh yeah, where are we going to start? Where are we going to start? Hannah's decision, everybody. EPP hexes, here we go. So these are one inch hexes, 100 templates. We did a bit of EPP yesterday, didn't we, with Anna Sanders from Alice Caroline. Oh, it's EPP. We don't like waste. Any scraps that you've got, perfect. They are one inch. Now, what we do say is, these are reusable, by the way, but what we do say is don't mix your makes of templates because they could be, because they, everyone uses a different laser cutter, they could be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit out. And if you add loads of together, it's going to throw your whole quilt out. So always try and use the same hexes or the same shape uh, for the what, for the project, basically. It's like when we say don't use a different sewing machine, isn't it? Because every quarter of an inch is different. These are £3.99. You get 100 in there. That's 120 GSM paper. Oh, there you go. Very interesting picture for you to look at there. Paper hexes, one inch, a hundred. We've got a Fifu. Good value hexy templates, really sturdy from Sue. Thank you, Sue. And from Pat. Uh, yes, yeah, saves a lot of cutting out. Thank you, Pat. From Kiridigian. Kiridigian. That's where she's from. 
Gorgeous, three ninety nine. We've got some smaller ones here. So they're one inch. These are three quarter inch. Brilliant for doing your grandma's garden, these. I don't mean actually doing your grandma's garden, but it's called grandma's garden, isn't it, when you put them together in like a flower shape. 349, these are. 100, a three quarter inch ones. All laser cut, especially. Can you not see them? There you go. Oh, hang on, you've got, not got a lovely picture of these. There you go. Oh, hang on, I'll have to do it like the photo, hang on. There you go. Three quarter inch these up. They are paper, not cardboard, just so you know. Reuse them again and again. Glue pen. Now, if, oh, well, I'll wait to see, I'll wait to see. Because we had this yesterday, right? Yeah, I said, didn't I? The person who's in charge of the early bird price is not doing a very good job, though. It's good, brilliant for you. Brilliant for you, because this is, this is still at the early bird price. Look, you're saving a pound. We have not got, well, we wouldn't want to. We want you to get a good deal. Early bird special. It's not the early bird, don't worry. It's not eight o'clock, Jan. Quarter past nine. Oh, yeah, do the early bird thing. Uh, so line glue pen, water soluble with blue refill. Doesn't matter what colour the refill is. It's the same glue each time. You get one already in there. Oh, sorry. You get one already in there and you get a refill. Five ninety nine should be six ninety nine. Dries clear. It's water soluble. You can use it for so many things and it has been developed to be able to you put, use glue on fabric. The refills are out of stock at this moment in time. You get going, you've got two, you've got that one and that one. You don't use it like, it's not like using a big paintbrush full of glue, is it? Oh, Lowe says, morning, John, only just got to you. Uh, quarter past nine, Lowe, shouldn't you be at work? Oh, this is Lowe's early bird. She's just joined us, Lowe's early bird. Pound off. 5.99. Early bird special. It's not the early bird special. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. It's not the early bird special. We got it at the early bird price. I know. Brilliant. Dries clear. Will not clag up your sewing machine. Will not clag up your needle. At 5.99. Yeah, now, this is heavier, this is heavier than these. Remember I said these were paper, this is card. This is card, this one. Not very interesting to look at, it's white card to make your own. There's nothing drawn on it, you have to draw the shapes on it, obviously. Snow White Premium. There's 20 sheets in there. 180 grams. A4 size, snow white. Uh, and there's some books coming up in a minute with some templates in them. Oh, it's a seedling one, English paper piece. Oh, yeah, so it is. See, she's not just thrown it together. She's thought it through. I hope you can't hear Hannah at home. That was very aggressive, wasn't it? Oh, now, Lowe's not at work today. She's cleaning the house today. Lowe's normally at work. What day of the week is it? Monday. She's normally at work on a Monday. Yeah, uh, Hannah says you missed a bit, Lowe. She hasn't started, I don't think. I think she's still sitting in her dressing gown. Hang on, let me have a look. Yeah, she's still sitting in her dressing gown having coffee. Yeah. Disgraceful this time of day. Oh, are well, we going to do the seedling book, are we? Right, hang on. This is your show, yeah. Yes. 11 English paper pieced and appliqued designs in here, inspired by medicinal herbs by Jodie Godfrey. Oh, she works Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've got it wrong. Yeah, Jodie does. Look at these gorgeous projects. 
Got us fabric in your stash. Look. Right, the quilt's in this book. Tools and materials. Here we go. Lots of techniques at the beginning. How to finish your quilt. Here are the quilts. Myrtle. Pretty puffy white flowers of the myrtle tree. It's all EPP. This is EPP. Look at this. There's your myrtle. 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 There's your templates. Beautiful. Caraway. Oh, I know that. Caraway seeds. I know that. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh. Caraway is a great quilt for a beginner who wants to tip, dip their toes into EPP. Oh, yes, look. And also, that's Arna Maria, isn't it, that one? You get to see big chunks. Of, oh, is that? Yeah, look, they're the um, passion flowers from her garden. She brought in, when she came to St. Quarter, she brought in the pencil drawing of that fabric. Anyway, I'm not sending that Anna Maria to. Beautiful. Yep, templates. How to put together unusual shapes. Because you normally think, don't you, of, um, of EPP as like squares or diamonds or hexes. These are like unusual crowns. That says it's a six point. Oh, no, it makes us. Oh. Well, that, that's, that, that's not a six point diamond, is it? Interesting. Anyway, peppermint. They do. When I went to, um, oh, where was that wedding? Blenheim Palace, right? They have these, oh, at Christmas, they have the whole lake covered in little boats, like paper boats, they all light up, all different colours. Peppermint. Oh, you see the, oh, oh, anyway. Yarrow. Thought that was a place in the northeast. That's pretty, isn't it? That's really pretty, isn't it? There's your hexes. Just because you don't have to rush, do you? Just make it. Keep them in your purse while you're on the bus or whatever. Do another one. Honeysuckle. Nice, isn't it? Different shapes again. Where's your, there's your, oh. Oh, now you see, they'd be quite good because that would come together quite quickly, wouldn't it? Because they're quite big. Uh, Mr. and Kerry, I have this book, it's fantastic, says Kerry and Cumbria. Isn't it lovely, Kerry? So this is Fever Few. Isn't that what you put, isn't, isn't Fever Few the tonic you put in gin? Oh no, that's Fever Tree, sorry, Fever Tree. Fever Few flowers have a wonderfully large centre, surrounded by cute little petals, just like the honeycomb blocks. Oh yeah, don't they? They fit together like cogs, don't they? Then there's your pen templates for that one. Elderberry, I love that one. I think that's beautiful. Now, I wonder how they've done that. Because look, it's grey in the middle of that one and white in the middle of that one. Let's have a look. Oh, clever. Cornflower, oh, that's nice. I was going to say, I thought cornflowers were blue. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, that one? Then you've got all your cornflower templates on there. There's lots of different shapes in there, aren't there? Then we've got rosemary. Any, uh, a rose by, oh no, that's a rose band in here. just so sweet. Anyway, beautiful. Then we've got lavender. Now, isn't that funny? Lavender, but it's yellow. Did you know that bees can see purple better than any other colour. So that's why they love going to Lavender and it was on the Elaine Page show. It was on the Elaine Page show yesterday. And then you've got the seedlings. Oh, that's nice. Look, that's a big bit of everything. Beautiful. Look, isn't that lovely? Seedling quilt, 14 pounds and 49 pence. 1449. Morning, John. Just want to say thank you to you and all at the Sewing Street team for a wonderful week of quilting. I spent loads. Pat, our pleasure. But don't stop there. Don't stop there. Got a lovely week coming up this week. 
Okay? Okay, if you can hear strange noises, the system's not gone wrong, it's Emma singing. Where are we going next? Alistair, love to sew, quilting on the move with English paper piecing. If you want something simple to get you going, then all you need is Alistair. <laughs> Here we go. We love Alistair. Right. Take to all you through all the techniques, everything, including inserting a zip, attaching, binding. Then you've got a hobby bag. You see that you make that. Add your EPP, then you keep your EPP in it. Look, there it is. Cute, isn't it? Then you've got your organizer pin cushion, your tea cozy and your egg warmers, your makeup bag, your man's scarf, Christmas table runner. Not happy, not, not too keen on a table runner myself. Could have a bet Christmas bed runner. Ready for Father Christmas. Peg bag. No, didn't say I didn't say that right. Peg bag. Peg bag. <laughs> Where's well, a bed runner? What? <laughs> but <laughs> Father Christmas isn't going to get in my bed just ready for Christmas because you decorate the rest of the house, don't you? I've moved on to <laughs> ta <laughs> tablet case, coat hanger and scent bag, hot water bottle case, book cover, tote bag, very popular tote bags, a baby play mat now. I have issues with this one. I think he looks evil. Look, I see you. Anyway, sparkly evening purse. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, look, Christmas bauble. Ready for Father Christmas. Storage baskets. Pyramid doorstep. Stop, Eva. Don't, not doorstep. Don't try on standing on it. And you've got your tweed table rest then. Tablet, tablet rest. You see, my tablets are really little. I don't need to rest them on anything. Beautiful black coffee. Elliot, that's Elliot's desk. But man, yeah, manly scarf, manly um, tablet rest. All your templates, nice big templates in there as well, aren't they? All the correct size <coughs> for everything in the book there. Lovely. At seven ninety nine, love to sew quilting on the move by Alistair MacDonald. Book. Fantastic. I needle threader. Yep, here you go. Needle threader. Small eye or large eye. Shows you how to. You put the needle in in there. And then you put the thread through, push the label, push the handle down, and it threads your needle for you. <coughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna film Emma doing a demo on that for you. Elliot wants more things to film. But only light pressure is required on the triggers, Emma. It's very easy if you don't like, um, or you can't see the uh, eye, uh, eye, eye, eye. I'll start that again. If you can't see the eye of the needle, large eye, small eye. Melano and straw needle. Lots of people use these for EPP. Now, yesterday we had gold needles for EPP. Sheila says, John, I wanted to go to Festival of Quilts, but last minute decided not to go. I'm very vulnerable. Uh, oh, no, you, if you feel vulnerable, you shouldn't go any, anywhere like that. You shouldn't go anywhere like that. I didn't want to risk it. No, I understand. Oh, yeah, it, the people who went had a lovely time, but you could, it'll be again. Oh, now, next year, it's later next year. So 22nd of August next year. And um, Anna was on yesterday and she went, I don't know who, some game show, some game show has pushed Festival of Quilts and someone messaging going, yeah, it's the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth, <laughs> so because the Commonwealth Games being in Birmingham next summer, the quilt show, the, uh, the uh, Festival of Quilts is a little bit later. Hand sewing needles, five to ten sizes, 16 of them in there. 
milliner or straw. Now, a lot of people use these to do their EPP because they like the longer needle. Oh, thread magic next. I was only talking about this yesterday because somebody was asking about it. Anna said, if you're doing EPP, this is perfect. She called it thread conditioner. Oh, it is thread conditioner. I've never called it that before. It's like modern day wax, isn't it? Beeswax, like modern day beeswax. Did you know that a bee, in their life, they only make a quarter of a teaspoon of honey in their whole life? And they have to fly something like three times around the world, the equivalent of three times around the world to do it. But if it wasn't for bees, we wouldn't be here. It's true. Which is why we have to really, really, really look after our bees. And did you know you're supposed to put a bee bath out on your windowsill? which is a, a shallow bowl with some water in it and some pebbles in it because bees need water all the time to survive. So you, what you do is you get a shallow bowl, put pebbles in it, a little bit of water, so they can just land it. I'm going to do it now. I didn't know. I had no idea. It was on Elaine Page so I was driving home yesterday. You learn so much from Radio 2. Needle dome. Now, if you are doing your EPP on the move and you don't want to be sitting on the train threading your needles, you can thread, I think it's 10 needles in here, isn't it? Hang on, I'll just double check. Oh, yeah, 10 needles, right. So what you do is you thread your needles at home, you slide your needle in there and then the thread goes round inside. So when you're ready, you just pull your next needle out and it's already, th uh, oh no, <clears throat> sugar water. No, it wasn't sugar water, princess. It was just water. It was just water in that bowl. If, they, if, they're out, if they're exhausted, you have to give them a spoonful of honey so they can just eat it to get, keep going. Nothing to do with the needle dome. <laughs> so to get back to the needle dome, uh, what you do is you thread your 10 in there. There's no loose threads hanging out or anything. You pull your next one out, do your EPP quite happily. Then that one's run out, you put that needle away and then you pull the next one out Threaded, T up to 10 of them. <clears throat> anyway, so do uh, I tell you, you know, uh, Lucy Brennan, she doesn't go anywhere without her one of these for her hand stitching. Hello? EPP card on its own has now sold out. <clears throat> we'll get some more in. <clears throat> to pardon. Oh, yes, now. I don't know what happened. We kept one of these. Yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing it thinking, I should really put that up. Or something. No, early bird price. Early bird price. Now, I'm not going to get this one out. I mean, I can get it out, but I'm not going to make it, right? What you do is you take the ribbon. Oh, sorry, there it is. You take the ribbon and then you, you thread it through there. <clears throat> you tie the ribbon over these two fingers here and then you use that as your thimble for pushing through. If you don't like wearing a thimble here, you, well, it, look, I'll show you there. Is there a better picture? Yeah, there you go. EPP, hand quilting maybe. Sashko, obviously. Except she's not doing that Sashko correctly there. It's adjustable, comfortable, and skid-proof. Why would, does it matter if it's skid-proof? Lovely. Oh, I've done that wrong. I'm going to make sure this one gets put away properly. Oh. There we go. There we go, done. Oh, now, I'm presuming ours are turquoise, but that picture was purple, wasn't it? So they're random, the colours. It was like the squizzers we had yesterday, wasn't it? Mm. And my lovely ruler with the kings and queens on yesterday, all sold out in minutes. Completely sold out in minutes. Oh, it's lovely. On one side, it had... It kept saying, from Henry VIII to Queen Elizabeth II. And I was like, this only goes to, this doesn't go, and you turn it over and Queen Elizabeth on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, it was like you'd gone to a Windsor Castle gift shop. 
care. 3 99 this is. I'm talking about that. That's sold out. This hasn't yet, though. Okay. Yes. This is gorgeous. The paper kites. <clears throat> now, in here, you get your acrylic to cut your fabrics out with, your little acrylic ruler. And you get your papers. And you get your instructions. Now, Lou Orth did this. The f she was on the other day, but she didn't do it this week. She did it the first time she was on. 5th of June. And Kat's got this. She's making this at the moment. When you, there is a choice. You can either hang it or you can use it on the front of a cushion, like that one there. Can you, or the front of a bag. You got the front. Can you see that there? That's brilliant because if you want to fussy cut, like if we had, the, if you use the fabrics from this morning and you want to fussy cut a flower or something like that, then you can see straight through it, or the bird or anything, or any of the cave for over the weekend, then you can see. Oh, now Jan, when I put honey out for an exhausted bee a few years ago, so I was told it should be sugar water, as honey from one hive could be fatal to another. Oh, I don't know if that's true. Oh, no. I've done honey. I've done honey before. 14 pounds. 14 pounds, that is. But you do get the instructions, you do get the template, and you do get the cardboards. Don't call them cardboards, do you? The templates. The templates. Oh, we've got it back in, I think, because it was was very, very popular. I'll show you. Very popular when she was in. Right, so there you go. So there's your, this, you peel off. I think you don't, you peel off once. Yeah, you peel that green off so it's actually clear when you cut it out. There's your shapes. And then there's the pattern that you're doing. And as Hannah said, she wouldn't do it as a wall hanging. She'd do it as a cushion. There was a picture. There you go. There's a picture of a cushion front. It's lovely. It, I, I like it like kind of like that with the rainbow colours on. But you could ombre it. Kat's going to do it white through to dark blue on hers. When she eventually gets around to it, she says. She's a bit worried today because... She's got um, a wall running alongside of her house, not part of her house, in the, in the garden bit. And it's got roses all growing up it, right? And she's going to chop the roses down, but they're in the person next door's garden. So she had to go and check with the gardener that it was right to do it. Anyway, she went to look at the roses and she moved the bottom. She's going to have to repoint the whole wall. It's taken away all the cement off the wall and everything. That's what I said. Just keep the roses there. Uh, good morning, John. Joining for what I hope is an uninterrupted couple of hours. Coffee and toast in hand. Well, Wendy Orlando will be back in 25 minutes. It'll be interrupted then, won't it? Right, now in the last hour, we had this. Oh, no! Right, so in the last hour, this sold out. This sold out in the last hour. So, But we brought you some 10-inch charm packs this hour to go with the book. You can't buy it this hour, but if you bought it last hour, you might want to buy it. Now, these are all CAIF. From the weekend, now that, very good for EPP as well, but very limited, I'm afraid. Very, very limited. So the one on the top here is called, uh, hang on a sec, yep, that's not there, that's that one. This is, this is hot, this one's called. So, now, you'll see ones in here, before the weekend, I'd never seen that one with the black background. Oh, Andrea says it's the 17th to the 21st. I've been told it was the 22nd to the 26th. Probably change again. Probably change again. But thank you, Andrea. Right. So then we've got that one. So I've only got single figures of this one left. It was a very, very busy cave weekend. But this is a 10 inch, 10 inch layer cake. All of these are 10 inch. You get 42 of them for £44.99. pence. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, uh, the quilt I've got, a, uh, oh no, one of the quilts has got that as a border. It's beautiful. It's called Grape, that one. Not today, not today. Buttons. Shark's teeth. Now, if you got the, not today, but if you got the uh, Skyfall, that's the, that's the binding on Skyfall. That's chips. Elliot was going home to have chips for his tea last night. Oh, that's why he was going to the chippy. This one's Damask. 
That one's, I think that one's called Hydrangea, that one. Then you've got Jumbles. Then you've got Shark's Teeth. Oh, miss one out. There you go. Beautiful, aren't they? This one's called Hot, this one. There's that one from the beginning in the red. This is the one that little Paul's got his shirt and short combo made out of. Damask. Beautiful. Look at that. I've not seen that colourway before. Buttons again. A different colourway. Hannah's hair. Oh, actually now, um, Emma's had a haircut and she's gone a bit short, she says. So that could be Hannah on, uh, Emma on a night out now, that one. Feathers. Uh, be careful, Emma. She makes you do the washing up. Buttons in purple. These are a bit like the emperor colours, these ones, aren't they? The purples. And then you've got your jumbles there. Stop knocking your microphone. Beautiful. And then look at that one. I love that one. Uh, Andrea says, really enjoyed the festival this year. I felt like I should have had an autograph book with me. There were so many sewing street faces. Not me, Andrea. Was here all weekend, wasn't I? Right, there are only four of those left now. Only four of those left. There we go. So that one's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, so next I've got parakeet, I think this one's called. I'll double check with your Hannah first. Well, I haven't got a number on it. That's, uh, that's it. Okay, so I need to check with just the colours then. Just need to check. Is that definitely parakeet, yeah. Now that lotus leaves, I've always called that convolulus. That's lotus leaves, that one. Look, aren't they beautiful, these colours? Paperweights. Now, there's two called paperweights. One's a big paperweight and one's a small paperweight. Paper fans, or we used to call that disco mermaids. Beautiful, aren't they? Colours in here are lovely. Look at those chrysanthemums in the lilacs and the oranges and the yellows there. Then we've got the ovoids in orange. Um, I'm not sure what that one's called. There's leaves. There's your, what I used to call convolulus, the lotus leaves. Paperweights. That's lovely, isn't it, that one? I almost want to say that it's like um, cactus flower, but that one's not cactus flower. Then you've got the green dots. Now, this is lovely. Now, some you get two of, some you get three of, some you get one of. They're all, it's, you get 42 in total, though. So you get three of that one. Then you've got your green spots there. There's your feathers. Beautiful feathers, isn't it? Two of those. There you've got paperweights again. Then your convolulus. Look at that. Multicoloured jumbles. And then you've got your spots there as well. It's lovely, isn't it? That one's parakeet. 42 10-inch squares, perfectly cut. Well, they're all laser cut, aren't they, you see? So they have to be perfect. 10-inch squares. No, sorry, there's one. No, there you go. That one's called parakeet. Sorry, there you go. Right, okay, that's that one. This one is called... Cool, this one's called Cool. Single figures of this one, 10 inch squares. It was brand new at the weekend. This one's got the greys and the greens in it. Look at the lovely feathers there. Brass, oh, uh, yeah, that's Brassica. Oh no, I don't think that one is Brassica actually because it's got the damask background in that one. Then you've got Hannah's hair. Beautiful, there's the chips. Buttons. Oh, look at that. The purity of these colours. Uh, Julia says, Morning, John. So tired after the weekend. Just been holding the coffee pot instead of the cup. Glad I didn't try and drink it. Julia. It was Julia's birthday over the weekend. She went to the, um, she went to the Chiswick Fire Station. She had a... No, no, it's a restaurant. And she had an ice cream sandwich for her pudding. But 
That was on Sunday. On Saturday, she got hung out. She got drunk on Saturday, so she was hung over on Sunday morning. She had a good weekend though for her 75th birthday. Oh, look at those blues. See, look. Hannah's hair. Oh. Look. That almost monochromey, that one, isn't it? Feathers in the blue. Lovely, aren't they? You can see why it's called cool, can't you? All these lovely cool colours. Look. Almost like in silhouette, that one, isn't it? Beautiful. Single figures on that one, though, ladies and gentlemen. And as a lady, she says. Okay, that was cool. Now I've got one that looks like it hasn't been touched. Prism, this one's called. I've actually got this one. They haven't got, oh, that's, none of them have got numbers on. I think I must have opened it. Oh, look at the colours in Prism. It is Prism. These are hot colours, aren't they? Look at that paper fans. You've got your lotus leaves in. Look at those colours together. It was over the weekend, because Elliot's been doing a lot of work with Kate just recently. He was going, that, he didn't know the names, but he knew he'd coloured them in. He knew if it was a Kafe, if it was a Brandon, if it was a Philip Paperweights. Yes, they are for the website, yeah. Look, that's Brassica. Then you've got your zigzag stripes, very Missoni esque, your paperweights, your crisscross. Oh, there's a flower market on Chiswick High Road, first Sunday of each month. It was lovely. Oh, wait, which part of Chiswick High Road, Julia? There always used to be the most incredible flower shop. Down the end where Carluccio's is. And my friend Jane Peach used to work there. I was on a Saturday Girl years ago. Anyway, look, beautiful. Oh, Brassica in blue. And you've got the beautiful purples in there as well. Very popular, this one. Very, very popular. Look at that one. See, now, if you did EPP or just half square triangles like that, you're going to get little glimpses of colour, aren't you? Every which way you cut it, it's not going to bring. Everyone would look completely... Well, actually, you're saying that, you're saying that, and all the 10-inch squares will look completely different. Because if you think about the size of the pattern, each 10-inch square is going to look very different, isn't it? Because look, hang on, let me have a look at that next one. You see, because that's a completely different part of the print to that one. That's lovely. That one's called Prism. Put it away nicely. You won't get these, by the way. The ones we've got here are, are our show sample ones. Then I'm going to move on to this one, which I'm thinking is called Equator. Prism, very popular. Equator's this one. Now, we had the fat quarter bundle of this. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Hannah and I had it. It was beautiful because I kept calling it, I didn't call it Equator, did I? I called it something else. Oh, in front of the fire station. Oh, very nice. Lovely fabric, says Glenis. It's beautiful, isn't it? The colours are just exquisite, aren't they? Look. Look at that. They're just very, very full of life, aren't they? Paper fans, your crisscross. Glennis likes the abstract families of fabrics. I like these. I like the chrysanthemum fabrics. I think they're just stunning. There's your jumbles. Brassica. Look at that one. I just think that's adorable. Paul Smith did a range of shirts like this years ago, about 20 odd years ago, and I've got some of them.
Look. It's your feathers. Again, they look totally different where they cut them, where, you know what I mean, where, what part of the bolt they cut them off. You've got your paper fans coming up in the darker, richer colours. Look at that. Then we've got the Masoni-esque uh, zigzags. Got polka dots in there. Rich, rich, rich polka dots. More chrysanthemums, crisscross. Multicoloured jumbles. And then this one's nice here. John, I don't do quilting, but I want to buy some cave 10 inch squares. Can any clever sewer suggest what I can do with them? So not quilting. Ooh. Doll's clothes. Um, oh, I know, I know. You could do beautiful embellishments on denim jackets. Um, what else? Applique. Beautiful applique. You could do beautiful applique cushions. Sew them all together. It's not, it's not like quilting. Just sew them all together and make a tote bag. Lovely, isn't it? This is beautiful. Just sew four together and have them as a wall hanging, stretch them over a canvas. That'd be beautiful as well. Hannah's very into embroidery at the moment. She'd put them in a hoop and do some embroidery over them. Then what would you do with them after that? Oh, hang on my wall as decoration. Actually, she says, actually, that's beautiful. Now, this one is called Emperor. Now, at the weekend, Emperor was so popular, I can't tell you. All the purples, all the rich. Oh, hang on, you've put ocean in. Hang on, I can get ocean. Oh, there you go, we'll do ocean first. Oh. Okay, we'll do ocean first. Oh, Emperor might have sold out. Yeah, okay. So this is ocean, this one. We're just double checking on the Emperor. I know at the weekend it was furiously busy for the Emperor. Right, here it goes. This is ocean. These are softer colours, aren't they? Like the Aegean Sea or the Caribbean Ocean. Glennis would make cushions. Uh, Princess would make coasters. We had a whole day of cave on Saturday. It was so busy. At the moment, Prism is the most popular for today. Brassica. Now you see, look, there's the paper fans in a completely different colourway. Hot and cool are about to sell out. Hello, the lady asking what she can do with them. Make purses, makeup bags, pouches, pot stands, coasters and storage boxes from Ellen in Lancashire. There you go, Julia. Some more suggestions for you there. Thank you, Ellen. Feathers. Blue and green jumbles. They're just lovely. It just depends what colourway you want, you love best, isn't it, really? There's your crisscross, there's your polka dots. There's your brassicas in blue, ovoids, paperweights. Uh, Princess says just put them in frames. That's a good idea. Lovely, beautiful. So that one there is ocean or ocean. Won't be long before. I see, well, I won't see the ocean. Well, I think I'll see the which which. Kefalonia, what's what sees that on? Is that the Aegean? We don't know the seas. And then last but not least, Emperor. Now we thought Emperor might have sold out because it was so busy over the weekend. Hannah's managed to find a couple for you, but not many. Here you go, this is Emperor. Uh, very spiritual, very regal the colours in this one. Really based on purples, isn't it? But so many other colours as well. 
Prism is in the lead, but this one is absolutely flying into baskets, but there's not as many of these, so please be careful. If you sewed them all together, would be enough to make a patchwork skirt. Claire, you'd have loads. You'd have loads if you sewed them all together. There's 42, aren't there? Oh, actually, I'm saying that. 42. Hang on, let me work this out. So you get four across to 44 inches. 10 inches, 10 inches. Oh, yes. I just think so. What you could do, though, is you can mix and match it with planes fabric. Purple is uh, Glennis's favourite. Look at that one. There's your jumbles with your purple background. There's your lotus leaves. Paper fans. Paper weights. Look at that. Rich, rich, rich colours in here. Blacks and the greens. You've got the purple ovoids. I tell you, like this, Derek would like this because he loves a bit of purple, doesn't he? He used to go disco dancing in purple, didn't he? And then he went to his local charity shop or somewhere this weekend and got 10 metres of purple Liberty for four pounds. Morning, John. Do you think you could ask the management if they could start supplying, oh, hang on, machine embroidery supplies, thread stabilisers, or maybe, well, we don't, the thing is, we don't do embroidery machines here, and I'm not sure why, but I'll find, I will, there's nobody, I don't think there's any management in today. I'll ask them, though. Oh, Kefaloni's on the Mediterranean, apparently. So there you go, learn something new every day. Will be nice in September then, won't it? Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Got the flights, the flights are all booked. Got the time off. They don't know yet, but I'm taking the time off. That one's Emperor, that one's called. Oh, look at the time. I've been a bit overindulgent or self-indulgent, haven't I, with that one? Oh, Prism. Emperor has overtaken Prism. Here's your Prism one, look. You got a lot more reds in Prism. Oh, actually, look. You get a rainbow in Prism. Because that's what happened, isn't it? The white light goes in and a rainbow comes out the other side. That's obviously why it's called prism. It's like a rainbow, isn't it? Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Bungo <laughs> TZ. What were they called, the people in rainbow? George. Bungo. They all, do they all have the same voice? Because I'm just doing the same voice for all of them, aren't I? How lovely, John. You'll have a wonderful time. Oh, I so will. I can't tell you, Glynis. I can't wait. Do you know, you know what'll happen? Because I've worked so hard the last two years. I'll most of get on live on the first day and be ill for two weeks. I'll be getting a cold and get cold sores all around my mouth and everything. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because you get if you go if you're tired and run down, you go in the you get cold sores. Just jump in the sea though, that clears them up. <gasps> I'm not a doctor. Well, oh, somebody sent me a picture of a patchwork, and, and only a picture of it, a patchwork Mr. Parsons. Oh, no, it's beautiful. Only a picture, yeah. There we go. And did anyone watch Love Island last night? I was in bed, obviously, because they sent Lily in to meet Millie, didn't they, last night? Oh, yes. Well, it's bad for uh, Liam. It's bad for Liam, yeah. Well, yeah, because Lily, uh, Lily had already been got rid of. She was in Casa Amor. She'd been cast aside. Uh, anyway, I, I need to go. Have I got to show anything else quickly before I go? Uh, scrap bags from Living Lovers, which we'll quickly do. I've got a Riley Blake and I've got a Liberty. Liberty. Now, I am presuming as they're scrap bags, you will get a selection of 50 grams of fabric. So I can't guarantee you'll definitely get those. 
Quilting weight, it's not tarn alone, it's quilting weight. Okay, so it's still here. There you go. Oh, that's a different one, you see. So I can't guarantee what you'll get. All I know is it's 50 grams of Liberty fabric. Uh, Kerry had a really, really busy week at festival. After the first day, they had to go home and repack and re... Because uh, they sold out. Uh, Adaku, Adaku was very, very busy. In fact, who was it? I think Emma Bradford. Was it Emma? Had to cover her stall while she just went to the ladies' room because she, she didn't think that it would be that busy at all. Anyway, moving on. I've got a Riley Blake scrap bag as well. 50 grams again. Why am I so hungry? I don't know why I'm so hungry today. It's only 10 o'clock. I've had my avocado, I've had a boiled egg, and I've had a Starbucks. I shouldn't be hungry, should I? 8 99 Oh, I haven't paid for it yet. I'll pay for you later. With the scrap bags, I made some face masks, said Glennis. Brilliant. Lovely. Right. I have to go down, because Wendy Orlando's coming up after the break. <clears throat> She's making... Ta-da! 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 Oh, there's a third picture. Yes, there is a third picture. There is a third picture. Yes. Oh, we're not showing this at the third picture. After all that work, when Jolanda put into it. Uh, the third colourway is... The, those were the two colourways, so there is a third colourway. We've got exclusive panels with 10-inch squares on them. We'll see you in three from now. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those, I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. 
Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Right, when your lad dough is back to make her very own tote bag, have a look at this. Now, these are, it's called the uh, reversible charm tote bag. And I was like, where's the charm? Where's the charm? Made from a charm pack. Made from a 10 inch layer cake or charm pack, depending on which company you come from. Look, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful, look, so that's one side, but look. Ka -ch -ka -ch 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 There's the inside, right? There's the inside, we're completely reversible. Now, they are made from a, a panel totally and utterly exclusive to Sewing Street. That's the blue one you've got a picture of there. Um, uh, yeah, which is this one, which is this one, yeah. So, you get the instructions, and wait till you see this panel. $24.99 for this, I'm gonna have to stand up. Well, it's too big, it's just too big, look. It's the first time I think we've done this, look. They're 10 inch squares. You get one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 20. You get 20 10 inch squares. Plus, look down the side there. You get a, a strap for your bag. A bag for your strap? No, a strap for your bag. Uh, so let me just put it on the table. Look at all the different squares you get on here. <gasps> look, how fabulous is this? So this one is your traditional charm tote. This is called traditional, this print. Tradish. Aren't they lovely? Really, really beautiful. All the lovely colours. You've got the blues and the greens and the rusts and the... I don't know what colour you'd call that. Like, um, I don't want to call it brown because it's more ready than brown, but it's got the browny tones in it. So that's your traditional. I'll just pull it up there for you then. That's lovely. I love that one there. So there you go. You get the panel. And you get the instructions for $24.99. I know. So that's the first colourway. We then have a, like a pinky, greeny colourway, which makes this one. I'll put it down, actually, it's easy. Isn't it? There you go. Lovely, isn't it? Pinks and greens in there and uh, aquas. So that one. It's this colourway. So what do we call this? Summer flowers. You get the instructions. Now this one's very, very popular on pre-order, this one. So there you go again. You get your 10 inch squares. I think I've got it upside down. Not that it matters which way it is, but there you go. 10 inch squares. 
the strip for your uh, strap down the side. Strip for your strap. Lovely colours. Let me put it on the table for you. So this one is more of your pinks and your maroons and your greens in there. <clears throat> Little bit of aqua going on. $24.99. So you get the panel and you get the instructions for £24.99. I know. Now, there's a colourway that you've not seen yet. There's not, it's one you're going to see demoed, right? There's no picture for that, Emma. You haven't lost it, don't worry. Or the picture. Right, so again, this one, you get the instructions. Oh, oh, you're going to love this one. Look. Yeah, look, 10-inch squares. Beautiful, aren't they? I'll put it on the desk for you. Oh, look at these. <coughs> Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous, lovely colours. A strip for your strap on the side. Oh, that's my favourite, I think. Well, I say that. Oh, the block of the month for um, Yarn Lane is not pre-ordered yet because... Okay, it will go on the end, in the next break, it will go on. Sorry if you're waiting, it will go on the next break. Sorry about that. There you go. Yeah, there wasn't that we didn't have enough time or anything like that. Busy, that's busy in the morning, you don't know. Anyway, look, this is gorgeous. Oh, Ketty, what's that name say? Ketty, Ketty, uh, the panel of the week is coming back either next week or the week after. I don't know why we had a break. We suddenly had a break from it, didn't we? I know. Anyway, $24.99, so you get the panel. And now, you know, Julia, oh, this one's really popular. This one's really, really popular. Now, Julia was saying earlier, oh, I'd love to buy some K-Facet 10-inch squares, but I don't know what to do with them. Um, you can buy the pattern on its own. And they're made with 10-inch squares. So you could do a cave version of this if you bought a 10-inch square cave. $9.99. $9.99. Beautiful. Now, if, if you know for the if you want to know from the last hour, Prism is still in the lead from the 10 inch squares. But there's only four of hot left if you're thinking of checking out on those. Um, there you go, there's all the instructions. Any complaints, go straight to Wendy because she wrote them. But there's a lot of words there and a lot of pictures. Look. Congratulations, your bag is now finished. Yeah, just skip to that bit, you'll get a free bag. Finished bag. Right, okay. Uh, Wendy Orlando is here to make this. Now, I promised you a bit more sewing this hour, so I'll shut up and I'll let her get on with it. Thank you. I'll be back in an hour then. Thanks. Okay, you, you just go and have a cup of tea. Go and, I don't go want and a take cup of tea, it easy. Oh, you don't have tea, do you? No. You don't. Right, so these, these panels are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I take full responsibility for this. Oh. No, no, no. You've been saying each colourway that the strip down the side is the handle. Oh, is it not? It's not. Oh, um, I But do I do take full responsibility because this morning when we went through it, I didn't tell you that. Right. Um, you make the handle out of the squares because I always make my handles uh, for, for thicknesses. Oh, there's the blue. Yeah, sorry, go um, So you do need four inches. Right. And that's not going to be wide enough. Oh, OK, that's fine, that's fine. So that's just a spare bit of fabric. That's then. spare. Okay. And also you get one one square spare mm -hmm. and that long piece of fabric. So you can make yourself a little makeup. Bag. So there's enough, th there is enough to make this and this out of one panel, isn't there? It yeah. is, yeah. yeah. You get one left over. Oh, sorry. One um, left over. And what I've done with all three of them, I've made them slightly different. So that one is very noticeably, di very noticeably different. Different, different on both sides and then when you turn it inside out you've got brown and grit well we're oh not, i see we're so not calling it brown are we no i don't know um, what color it is it looks more brown on yours it's like than it a does tan is it? I, mm, I don't know even that's a shame you can, it's lovely anyway so you could either do what i've done and you could have blue cream and then turn it and have green and inside you could have green yep. and brown or you could use one square on each of the sides so you'd have a blue and a green or a blue and a brown. Right, okay, I see what um, you mean, yeah. So so one they, of those and one yeah, of those, plus your strips. Yeah. 
Or you could use the mix the brown and the green on the outside. It's up to you, isn't but what, it? But what I wanted to do was, because what's the point of having it reversible if it doesn't look different? So with that one, um, they're completely get, different. Isn't it reversible when it gets dirty? Just turn it inside that's, that. That's the other reason. It. So the one that you, the other one you've got there is is pretty much they are different on both sides, but it's not as noticeable. Oh yes, yes. yes. Whereas um, that that's one I've made very noticeable, very noticeable. Yeah. and this one I've kind of just gone with everything. So that one there um, I've made with that one there. Which one, one are you talking about? The blue one. 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 Blue. The blue one there. Yeah. Um, you've got cream, green, cream, blue. So as I say, it. it it looks really obvious. Whereas these ones that I'm just going to be making now. Um, Random. Are, yes, that's the one. That's the one. So the first, I've made three of the panels because this is a really quick make. Okay, well you've got an hour. It would be a perfect, um, no, I've done something already. It'd be a perfect make for if you're teaching um, like children introducing them because you're left with something again that looks a little bit more complicated than it is. It's very, very easy, um, but it's, perfect introduction so i mean obviously as long as they're supervised with the machine but mm -hmm. it's it's brilliant so the first thing you're going to do and it's all in the instructions as you say i always do lots of pictures so that you can see what you're doing as you go along you you choose your squares now with these ones i've decided to do predominantly pink this is the most popular colorway already i'm not surprised this is gorgeous yeah. so i've gone with cerise and pink so if I put these two together, they are completely different on both sides. Uh -huh. But what I could have done was put one of each. So I would could have done that. Yeah, yeah. So I could have done that um, to make it not as obvious. But mm. I really wanted to show the different sides because you can just turn the bag around. Also, if you didn't want stripes on them, you could just use four squares you if you do. wanted to. If you wanted to, if you want to really, because a lot of people see the fabric and go, oh, it's a shame to make it smaller because I love that as a 10 inch square. You could just do, I mean, I know your pattern is to do the piecing, but if you wanted to, you could just do four squares, couldn't you? Definitely, you could do that. But um, as I say, this is a brilliant introduction to, to be able to sew accurately together because with these, you do need to be accurate. Right, you do we need, need to look at that, Emma. You do need to have yeah. the quarter of an inch seam there because yes. we will then be trimming the squares down to size. So you need to make sure. So as I say, it's brilliant to, to show people mm. how no, to no, do this. No, no, of course, of course. The first thing that you need to do is cut everything. Okay, out. I've got a quick question. Yes. Could you make, if you're saying make them so different, could you make the inside out of just squares and the outside out of just stripes? You can, be enough. you can, but um, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I've done four different colours here. Yeah. So on each of the sides, I've got the four different colours. What you would need to do then is you would just, it would be striped. So you'd have the same, because you're only going to be, you're going to be using not so many squares. Can you squares. not twist it the other way? Do, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, it's, up to you, it's up to you. I'm just yeah. thinking of all different designs around No, you could do it. that. Yeah. And also, um, yes, you could just sew the four together to make one big yeah, panel. Yeah, because with the fabrics on there are so exquisite, aren't they? You might not want to chop into them. Yeah. And also, I, what I always do, I would maybe just get a white or a cream or whatever and save some of the squares. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then you could yeah. do every other one, mm? just a plain colour. Well, actually, if, you're gonna get, if, you, if you are going to just buy the instructions on their own and the cave, you've got 42 in there to, I mean, I know some of them are doubled and trebled, but you've got 42 10 inch squares in there to play around with. You only need obviously 20, you only 19. need 19. 19. Well, uh, yes, and if you are buying the charm packs that have got the, the 10 inch squares, yes, you will. If you're using your own fabric, however, then the handle you could just make out of a, it gives you the dimensions of what the handle oh, yes, should be yes, after. Yes, 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 yeah. um, and the only reason is I've had to make the handle out of three because I haven't got that continuous of course, yeah. length of fabric. Mm. So yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Quite Perfect. easily. So the first thing you do is you cut out, you choose all the designs and I would lay them out. So, so you have to reject one. Which one did I reject? Oh, I tell you what I did reject because with this particular one, your handle, you both your handles, yeah. so the one on your left has got the same handle. Right, on both of them. On yeah. the same, but the same orientation. Yeah. So the, but with this one, it's the same handle, but I've twisted it. Right. So the, oh. the, do you see what I mean? So the bottom and the tops are different. Yeah, there you go. Whereas that one, I put them the same way around. Same round. way around, yeah. yes. Um, so they they would be a mirror, wouldn't they? Whatever. Yeah. Um, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but this one, I decided to keep three fabrics. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah. Emma. So I've decided yeah, to have three fabrics so that the top and the bottom of my handles are going to be exactly the same yeah. and, and that one. But we'll make the handle in a moment. So which is your reject one? That was the question. This, 
Oh, where's he gone? Where's it? Well, these are the rejects with my other one. That one. That oh. one. And it, I feel so sad for it because it's actually beautiful. Fine, you can use it in something else. I will, I'm going to make a little uh, glass glasses case with that. Okay. Um, and that was the one I rejected on the other one. So Jane, thank you for your lovely message. She's loving the show and all the beautiful fabrics. The fabrics are gorgeous. And with the panels, they're a little bit thicker, aren't they? I yes. still would best press because, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I best press everything. The only thing that you need to um, take into consideration is your orientation of your fabric. Right. So these ones here are horizontal and these ones here are vertical. So when I trimmed them, and as I say, it's all in there, the sizes you need to trim them to, um, I made my flowers stand up. Oh, okay, the direction, yeah. So yeah. you do have to take that direction into consideration. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, you don't have to, you can do what you want. Really, right, exactly. Can't you? you can do what you want. I'm getting better at doing what I want because normally everything has to be regimented, yeah. but I'm getting better. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to construct this part okay. of the panel. So I'm going to sew my four horizontal uh, verticals together and I would help if I got my verticals I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna lay them out like that so I'm going to sew that one to that one add that one on and then is that, that literally have you literally just taken each square and cut it into four uh, yes now you will notice that the eagle-eyed of you there uh -huh. is that I do have a very very tiny tiny piece of white there yeah. Now, when you cut the square out initially, make sure that you cut it to size rather than cut round the actual square. Right. Because you need to have that full 10 inches. Oh, so maybe some of the squares aren't exactly 10 inches then. Yeah. Oh, I shall have a word with the design department. She's not in today, but I love so, the word. So you need, that's why. But of course, as long as it's less than a quarter of an inch, it's going to get eaten up. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to place the first two right sides together. Uh -huh. And I'm going to sew a quarter an inch seam down the long edge. Now, um, if you are new to um, sewing, then by all means pin. Yeah. But what I tend to do is, because these are going to be trimmed down, I'm going to offer the top together. And then as I'm sewing, I'm just making sure that they are in line. And I'm doing a quarter inch seam. And you do need to have um, the quarter inch because they won't fit if you don't, because they are then trimmed down to size afterwards. Uh -huh. So I've got my first two. Now what I have done in each of the panels to keep that repetition, I've done them all the same, but you could change the order. It's entirely up to you. And this one was so that you could literally fold it up small, you can put it in your pocket, put it in your bag. Yeah. Because um, I don't ever go out without a bag because um, I don't like to buy them. No, no, no. Well, no, I don't. I've, I've got my Waitrose Live Bags for Life, but I've also got bags like this that Davinia had made for me. I've got two of them in my, they're in my boot the whole time for when I'm going to the shops and everything. I always have them because I really do. I have got so many bags. It's the thing that I love making more than anything. Yeah. Um, but I really don't want to buy plastic bags. I mean, some companies do have, they do have paper bags, don't they? Yeah, um, do they? Yeah, some of them do. But then if you're buying something heavy, I'm always worrying about the bottom falling out. Yeah, no, I think it's good to get into the habit of taking your own bags with you. Definitely. Brilliant. So that's the first one. And then I'm going to press them both together. So that one I'm going to do. And now I'm going to do my vertical. Horizontal. That's the one. Uh, Christine says, morning, gorgeous people. John, Scott, Wendy and all. Amazing Sewing Street team. Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, that's so lovely. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to work from top to bottom. Well, okay. Bottom to top, it doesn't really matter. Um, and if you are doing them to an order, try and keep them in that order. But if you're just doing them random, it really doesn't matter. This is yours. Once you get it home, it is your interpretation. Yep. This and one's I... the most popular, Hannah. Still the one we're working with. Really? What's your favourite? Oh, hang on, John. Is Wendy using the Summer Flowers Kit? No, she's using jasmine, right? So this is jasmine. Sorry, when you just carry on doing the straight line. Yep. This is jasmine. These are the blocks for jasmine, which is the one that Wendy's using. I'll flip it. So that's jasmine. And then summer flowers is this one here, which is your greens and your pinks more. Look, there you go. This is your summer flowers. <clears throat> Flip it. 
That's your summer flowers. I might as well show you traditional while I'm here so you don't feel left out. Traditional is feeling left out. Traditional? See, traditional's more of a... You know what I'd do? I'd buy this one and, the, and one the others and have a winter one and a summer one. Oh, yes. Or buy two and make the inside of one out of traditional and the outside of one... You know what I mean? So you can f switch and swatch. I'm liking the thinking there. I'm liking uh, the Margaret thinking. says, morning all. Joined late as, as I was reading in bed. Ooh. Margaret, can you not read and listen at the same time? <laughs> no, I can't either. I can't. I get carried away with one or the other. Uh, both looking swish as ever. Oh, I don't know what she's watching. Swish. Swish. Oh. Right. <laughs> Thank you, though, Margaret, my lovely. I sewed them together, so now what I'm doing, I'm just ironing yep. on the reverse. And I'm ironing to one side now. Ironing or pressing? Pressing. Thank you. I'm not, sorry, yeah, I'm pressing. Well, actually, I was ironing. I shouldn't have done. I was yeah. ironing. Um, and the reason that this is so good, because you've got, at the moment, no intersections to worry about. Right. At the moment. So also very good on the wool cutting mat, uh, wool pressing mat, because the heat mm -hmm. uh, goes into the mat, hat mat, and so it kind of heats from both sides, from the top and the bottom, makes those uh, seams really, really crisp. And that's what you want. You want really crisp seams, because remember, we are cutting this down to size, so I'm trying to get every bit of width that yeah. I possibly can get. Mm -hmm. And I'm do exactly the same with this one. You've all gone quiet. You're watching, aren't you? No, I, was, I wasn't looking at you. Actually. Oh, okay. Looking at my iPad. <laughs> I've got play and bejeweled, whatever it's called. <laughs> I'm not. I don't understand. And Candy Crush, I don't understand with any of those. Because when you go on, it says, do you want this game? And it shows you an example. I'm like, I wouldn't know how to work that out. Don't, I need to do don't. one of those, how old are you really, where you have to find the name, the words <laughs> in the thing. I should really do that to keep my brain sharp. It is. Sh your brain is sharp. I do scrabble. There is nothing scrabble. wrong with your brain. I like scrabble. I'm not very good with the words because there are an awful well, lot of... Well, that's the idea of Scrabble. <laughs> it's the words, really. But there's not an awful... There's, sorry, there is an awful lot of two-letter words, aren't there, that score high. And QI. I, that's a good one, especially on a triple, treble. You see, I wouldn't have thought, because I was always taught that you have to have a Q with a U. Yeah, no, QI. So, QIS is a good one. And is XI in... XI is see, another one. See, I'm, but I'm, not XA. But ZO is... Oh. And Z double O, obviously. But they do. score highly because of the, the, the letters that they're yeah, with. Yeah. That's so I've idea. yeah, so I've now pressed them. Okay. So I'm now going to trim them to size. Right. Don't trim on your wool pressing mat. Oh you haven't oh okay. Oh no, oh no, I wouldn't do that. I've got caught out once here, haven't I? Yeah. Just <laughs> no. the once. Yeah, just the once, and I won't do it again. So I'm going to use the big one because that's what I want to trim it to. Now, a top tip yeah. is to trim I was going to say the width, but of course they're both width. Trim the um, the width of the strips first, rather than that way round. Right. Does that so make the sense? So the strips going up and down rather than across. Yeah, beca and because one of them's horizontal and one's vertical, yeah. but still trim this way because this is what you <coughs> need. You right. need the width. What are you trimming it to then? I'm trimming it to the width of the ruler. I make things quite Well, yes, but that, some so people have got a two inch ruler, so you can't that, say that. No, no, I was just going to say, so this one is an eight and a half inch. So Thank you it. trim this one to eight and a half, and then you trim the squares down to eight and a half as well. Right. Now, if you want to, that's a good um, opportunity to fussy cut as well. So I would normally use my stripology, so I'm going to turn this round and cut the other side. So what you're doing when you're trimming, I mean, that shouldn't really, if I'd have done quarter of inch seams, I'm scalding myself here, yeah. that should have been perfect, but mm -hmm. it wasn't. But this side, so if you if you got a little bit left over, I know people um, save a lot, save everything. Um, and then all I'm going to do is line the bottom of the fabric up here with mm -hmm. one of the lines so that I know that I'm straight. Yeah. And then turn it around. This is... This is the vertical one, but I'd say it doesn't matter. You cut them both exactly the same way and just trimming them down. And I've already trimmed, it's bad, isn't it, doing that? Sorry, I don't mean to throw it on the floor. I will clear up, Emma, I promise. Emma loves hoovering in the morning, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think your hoover picks up very well, does it? Well, it depends who's <laughs> using it. 
When Elliot uh, uses it, it doesn't pick up anything. Re yeah, that doesn't surprise me, actually. Sorry, so Elliot. I can't hear. He's got his, ear, he's got his earmuffs on. Today. I know. I called him three times. <laughs> he didn't answer me. Um, uh, yeah, don't call him that. His name's Elliot. Sudoku <laughs> would suit you, John. Oh, no. My I dad love used Sudoku. to do Sudoku. I love got, that. Somebody has to explain to me how it works. I understand oh, how it works. I love that. Don't say you're too old because I'm older than you. Oh, oh. yes, I know you are, Lynn. A oh. lot older than me. Yeah. <gasps> That's not not you. No, no, are... it's true. No, it's true. She's a lot older than me. I'm forty. She's fifty. <laughs> I'm forty-one actually. No, you're not. <laughs> so I'm just trimming these and try and be as accurate as you can because the more accurate you can be at every stage, the better it's going to go together. Mm -hmm. So I've done that, and I have trimmed my others to size. And now all I'm going to do is put them in their positions. Bon so. everyone. Loving these fabric panels. Nice to relax and watching them. You're finding this relaxing? <laughs> nice to relax and watching them all instead of having to leave for work from Ellen in South in Carmarthenshire. Thank you, Ellen. Oh. So now I've got my four pieces for the, the oh, panel. Oh, now. Oh, what's the matter now? I wouldn't put... There's always something, Yeah, no, 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 no. It's just me. No, because it's, it's personal choice, isn't it? I wouldn't put the stripes going down with the stripes going down of the fabric. Yep, yeah, but then if I, what those? Right, yeah. so if I then turn it that way, they're going to be going along. Well, I was going to move it down to that corner down there. But then would that not be, con oh, okay, yep, yeah. with you. Do what I mean, maybe. It's up to you. But no, no, but it's a personal thing, isn't it? I wouldn't have, because that's that. Oh, um, okay. But yeah, I know I'll, method, I, method. I will go with you. No, no. And then all no, don't go with me. Go with your own. Don't no, go. I'm going with you, John. All right, then. Don't then she'll blame me when it's wrong, when it looks ugly at the end. It do that <laughs> does not look ugly. And then all I'm going to do, as I uh, did before um, in the earlier show, I'm just going to sew those two together. Yeah. And then those two together. Go on, then. And because I haven't got um, any intersections that I need to worry about. Yeah. I've just got a plain piece so of So we don't need any any uh, uh, iron-on interfacing or uh, H640 or anything like that? If you want to, you can. There is absolutely, I love an H640. Yeah. But the whole purpose of this bag was literally to be able to, I'm not going to say screw it up and put it in your pocket, oh, just right. fold so, it up. So yes, because if you do that, it's going to make it's, it into a completely different bag. Of but course, yeah. That, there's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah. If it's a bag that you just have on a hook and you just take out with yeah. you to or go to the, the shops. Yeah, or put in the car like I do. Exactly, yeah. yes. So personally for me, I just wanted to be able to fold it up small, put it in yeah, my pocket. I understand that, I understand that. Good, and then I'm going to do a quarter of an inch seam. And again, I haven't pinned because they do fit because I've cut them to size. Uh-huh. And they're all on straight grain, so the sta it's very, very stable. It is very stable. And the cotton that they're, they're printed on is a very, very sturdy cotton it, as well. It really is, but I have best pressed them because I like the smell of it. Mm -hmm. We only have the scent free. You, you have the scent free one, but I'm I, I, lucky that I've still got a little bit. Haven't got much. No. Yeah. It'll be in again. Don't worry, it will be in again. And then we do it the same the other way. And as I say, pin or clip if you want to. There you go, there's scent free there. It's the big bottle, that one. Uh, Ian says, busy working, got you on in the background, really enjoying today's show. I find Sewing Street great for dealing with things and calming in the mornings. Aww. Thank you, everyone. You make a big diff bigger difference than you know. That, I suppose it depends which guest we have on, really, to as how, how well, and which presenter you have on. Oh, hang on, and what? And what's that got to do with it? <coughs> Emma's in a funny mood. She went like last Thursday when the internet wouldn't work. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> but they couldn't watch you because the internet... We were on. We came on. You I added a Facebook Live. I know you did. I thought it was hilarious. Um, in the middle of my makeup. And then someone said... Someone said you've got something on the end of your Someone said I've got something on the end of your This is my foundation. And then someone <laughs> said, you don't need all that makeup, John. Then they went, actually, oh. my niece is a makeup artist. Maybe you should get in touch with her. <laughs> I think that might have been Sheila Shah. See, I didn't know you wore makeup. <laughs> Sorry, have I you didn't... not seen my skin when I come no. in in the morning? I'm the colour of that thing there. I've seen your knees. I mean, that was too much for one morning. You know very... Don't you make that face at me. You I've know... been wearing shorts every day, but it was too cold this morning. <laughs> and it was dark. I couldn't believe it. My outside light now comes on as I leave the back door. The... No, that shows the, the nights. No, the mornings. Yeah, darker. The yeah, winter's <laughs> on its way. So I'm going to be doing... And my garden furniture hasn't arrived yet. Has it not? <laughs> We, anyway, got our, we got ours early. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to be sewing the top 
and the bottom two together. Uh -huh. But what I want to do is I want to press the seams back. Now, if you see on the back of here, I've got a whole piece of fabric uh -huh. and I've got a joined piece of fabric. What you want to do is press the seam to the whole piece of fabric. Okay. If you press it this way, then you've got all these seams here and what you're doing is you're creating height in that centre right. fold. We don't want that. We okay. want to have this piece of fabric now as flat as we possibly can because when you nest the seams in the middle, the thinner the hump in the middle, the smaller the hump, yeah. the better you'll get a nest. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're pressing to the solid piece of fabric. Okay. I am having trouble with my teeth this morning, so I do apologise if it doesn't come out right. Why, they're not fitting properly? <laughs> or they're someone else's? <laughs> someone else's. I think I picked the wrong ones up. Uh. <laughs> oh, don't. So I'm doing exactly the same. I'm pressing over to the solid fabric. Love Wendy's demos. Don't know what we all watch before Saying Street. Keep up the good work, says Aww. Sue. Oh, well, you watch Saying Quarter, hopefully. Yeah, you, you, you used to make me giggle all the time on that. Um, so now I've pressed the seam to the solid square. And when I place them together, and I'm hoping we can pick this up. Oh, uh, that's you, Emma. We're going to nest. Um, and nesting is literally butting the two fabrics that centre join up so that I've got one fabric going that way and one going that way and then you get a really nice intersection. Now if I try and push that now I can't because yeah. they're joined together. Now what I will do and you know me I'm not a great pinner but I do like to pin that centre one. Yeah. Then they should fit because as I say we've cut them to size. Don't Ian says there's only one John Scott. There is only Luckily, one John Scott yes thank goodness. Well no, there's a lot of people called John Scott because there's a rugby player, there's a man who plays the organ in Wakefield Cathedral, there's lots of us but um, no hard sell and always a smile. Thank you. My dad was a John. Oh? My dad was a John. Was it a John Scott? No, it wasn't John Scott. Well then. No, it wasn't John Scott. So he wasn't a John Scott. And then what I always do is, as I get to that centre one, I do just double check that I have got it nested in. Yeah. But you'll have much more time than I am. I will. Um, when you're, uh, a, a thing to note as well, when you're sewing and you've got your seams pressed towards the machine, sometimes they get caught on the plate. Yeah. So just make sure when you go past them. <laughs> Hannah does that. She always gets caught on the plate because she's too busy eating what's on it. <gasps> John! She said it, not me. John. She said it, not me. You're being a real pickle today. Stop it. No, no, it. she said it, wasn't me. I didn't even oh, say that, Hannah. That's all right. That's all right then. I liked Hannah's dress today. I'm, I, it's she because, looks... no, no, it's because you're used to seeing Hannah come in in her pyjamas <laughs> and what she's been wearing all week. When she, she uh, on her birthday show, right, and I, I know this sounds patronising, but I don't mean it to be, she looked so adorable. It almost, I, I nearly cried with emotion because oh. she looked so gorgeous. She looks like the wreck of the Hespers normally. Or during, but but she, because she's not, she doesn't need to be here, so she can, you don't see her, do you? She can come in wherever she wants to come in. And it's dark in the morning. But now and you've she, told everyone. No, no, she, she knows. Because sometimes she's sometimes she's walked across camera when she wasn't supposed to and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I have seen But she, uh, it, it, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely beautiful. She really, really is. Be well, you've seen that because you've yes. seen on her birthday she's show. Gorgeous. But you wouldn't have thought that some mornings when she walks in, you kind of wonder what... Stop digging your hole. I'm not digging a hole. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, and again, it's just, it doesn't really matter this time, but I like to, again, iron on the side that has got the least amount of joins. Okay. So if I turn it over here, you've got the, the joins there, whereas here you haven't. Mm -hmm. so I'm just going to press that. and Press in first just to bed those stitches in, and then we're going to press back. And I'm not sure how close... You can get in oh, there, Mark. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure how close you can get in for we're looking at this. She's just blowing her own trumpet now. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, you, th to my trick where you iron over to the, the thinnest amount of fabric, uh -huh. you get a really lovely intersection going on there. Perfect. Oh, thank you. It is, isn't it? <laughs> I said the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit uh, right there. Oh, I thought you was... Oh, Okay. I thought you were shaving. What, the other day? On the, my, my Facebook Live, I thought you were shaving. I'm naturally very red, don't wear makeup very often, as it was all the years of... 
Oh, when you were doing the thing on the end, yeah. on the end of your nose. It's my birthday today, says Christine. Not Happy mine. Birthday. Christine's birthday. Maybe I'll get some new stuff there as my daughters are taking me shopping. Oh, yes, Ooh. do. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Definitely. Sorry, you, you were nattering, so I've moved on. No, you move on. Sorry, Fine. I did. Enjoy my life. <laughs> so all I'm doing now is I'm sewing the three squares that I've selected for the handle together. Oh, OK. To form one long wide strip. Mm-hmm. Now, we had a message earlier about your nails. Oh, yes. Now, I said to you this morning, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. I cannot be, I mean, you can never say, this is the only thing I've done different, is I've started using the seams. Mm -hmm. And before The oil I, or the hand cream? Both. Okay. So I put the oil on, and I used to have the little flaky bits on my nails mm -hmm. and the hand cream. But I don't know, <laughs> sorry. look at my yeah. nails. I've never had nails She's directing like that. from the floor, everybody. It's such cold. <laughs> directing from the floor. Uh, no, 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 but you said that when you first came I in did. and she said, oh, no, I'm to say it. Of course you can, because we sell it. Yeah. So if you want the oil or the uh, hand cream, just go to the website. Now, Seems. I've not done anything different in my life other than use that. So, but the, there is one huge downside to it is that my nails are so lovely now. I can't play the ukulele at the moment. <laughs> I played Could the you play it before? Oh, yeah, I played the ukulele, but at the moment I can't play it. We used to have a friend who did that, didn't we? So He's like a stand-up comedian with a ukulele. Oh, I would never go that far. Elsie says, Bonadar, John, you make my day always happy. Oh, Elsie, I'm not. Oh, I'm a grumpy old so-and-so normally. Mm. I mean, oh. <laughs> Why is everybody agreeing? <laughs> <laughs> You're even not. Emma, even Emma said that. Now, what I've done this time yeah. is I've pressed the seams open. Okay. And the reason is because I'm going to be constructing a handle by folding it over and over itself. Yeah, and yeah. If, you, if you iron to one side, you're going to create a lot of bulk in one place. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim the handles down. Now, because I, uh, don't, I haven't got really, really long arms, I am folding them in half to do this. But mm -hmm. normally, see, I'm on the floor and cutting them. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to square off one side. Now, when you do um, neat on one side, when you do this, you will have, you have got a little bit more than you need, but don't cut off too much. Just make sure that you get both layers of fabric. Okay. And I'm turning it around, and then I'm trimming it to size. And how big is it? Four inches? It so. is. It is. Because um, I wanted an inch handle, and with the method that I use, you, whatever size handle you want, you quadruple it. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to fold it in half and then half again. Mm -hmm. So you're going to... Oh, I, I did. I promise you I did put a new blade in. So, see, what I would do if I was at home, I wouldn't be happy with that. I would cut that little edge off again, but it's going to be there or thereabouts. Yeah. <coughs> And then, how much time have we got? Um, Emma? Ten more minutes oh. of Emma. Okay. And then to make the handles, I don't think I've actually, have I made one? Because I've already pr always pre-made them before. So to make the handle, you put wrong sides together. And, and to the point here now, because I've opened the seam out, it's not going to be really, really not a lot of fabric in one place. OK, I'm going to stop you there. We've got a lot of people messaging in saying they're confused, not about your pattern, about the difference between jasmine. This is jasmine that's being made. OK, right, so this is jasmine. Oh, there's a... Oh, hang on. OK, you'll get the right one if you do the right code. The image is the wrong way round on the website. So this is jasmine. No, this... Oh, hang on. No, this is summer flowers. This is summer flowers, this one. Oh, hang on. Right, oh. hang on, everybody. Oh, dear. Hang on, everybody. Yeah, th this is summer flowers. Right, okay, right, this is important now. This is very important. If you've ordered this already, 
The wrong graphic, the wrong pictures are on Hannah's system. So she's been saying that this one is called Jasmine. <clears throat> this one is called Summer Flowers. So on the website, <clears throat> all the pictures are completely wrong. Completely wrong on the website. All the pictures. So I'm really sorry. You need to either ring the call centre or if you haven't checked out yet, just change it round if you want to. So the one that we're working with and the one I'm showing you here is Summer Flowers, right? This is Summer Flowers. So that's the one that Wendy's working with now. Sorry if you've checked out on the wrong ones. Uh, you just need to ring the call centre and tell them. So this is Summer Flowers. Okay, this one's your Summer Flowers, the one that Wendy's working with now. Obviously you get the panel and the instructions. Right, the pictures are all the wrong way around on the website. Then this one here is Jasmine, right? So this is your Jasmine one, which makes this bag here. So that's your Jasmine. Sorry, all the pictures on the website are wrong. This is Jasmine. Okay, right. Yep. Yeah. So this one's Jasmine, this one's already made up, that one's Jasmine. Traditional you're fine with, because that was traditional, was traditional, was traditional. It was these two where the pictures got confused. Hannah's just going through to the main office now to sort it all out. But if you have thought you've bought, if you thought you wanted this one, and you've checked out on Summer Flowers, you need to go either ring the call centre or you need to um, change, if you haven't already checked out, change it in your thing, or cancel it and start again. But anyway, I'm ever so sorry about that one. So we'll carry on. Uh, making, but remember, right, hang on, I'll wait for Hannah to come back actually because I don't want Jasmine to be in while she was watching Wendy do summer flowers. So we'll stay on Jasmine for now, stay on this one for now, right, and then if we change the graphics to summer flowers, then we can go back to Wendy. Right, so Wendy's using summer flowers. There we go, right, so put that one away. Sorry, Wendy. That's okay. I just no, to actually, sort that's that out. that's good because all I was doing is being very boring and ironing. Um, <laughs> don't say, say anything. Nothing. So we fold wrong sides together and press. Yeah. Open out, and then you press the two long raw edges in towards the centre. Yeah. And when you've done that, and then you press in half. Now that way, it gives you a really lovely strong handle that's four layers. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to top stitch. And I'm going to increase my stitch length to about three. Um, and then I'm going to top stitch it closed. This one does make sense being summer flowers, though, doesn't it? Because it's just a whole array of different yes, flowers. Yes, yeah, we should have yeah, done it. And what I always like to do, I like to, and this is just personal, um, I like to go down the other side so it's nice and symmetrical. You don't need to because by now you've actually sewn the handle together, mm -hmm. but I just like to go down the other side and I'm just using my foot as a guide. I'm not sewing a quarter of an inch, I'm sewing close to the edge. Right. So that's one side and then the other and then you trim these to so size. So the full length, they're 30 inches, uh, no not 30 inches, yeah 30 inches, well no a bit less than 30 inches. Because, because you, you have to take into consideration yeah. the width, the, the, the seam allowance. Yeah. So they will be 29 won't they? Yeah. Because you've, you've joined twice haven't yeah. you? So, yeah. You just agreed with me then didn't you? Just try to work it out. Yes, because you've got a quarter of an inch you lose for each seam and you've got two seams. So that's, uh, you've got two lots of seams, so yeah. that's, yeah. But then um, I always like, I think, I can't remember what size I say to trim them to. Um, if you want to make a smaller, like a sh shopper, so the tote is the long handled mm -hmm. and the shopper is the smaller, just trim these down if mm -hmm. you want to. I'm just going to make sure my two are even. Now... Let's turn it around, I don't want to cut the desk. Um, when I cut mine, I always place them together 
and I never place one inside the other when I cut because first of all you run the risk of the blade slipping but secondly the one that's inside the other one is going to be very very slightly shorter mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to trim them I would trim them I'm sure it says 28 but I can't be sure because I've had lots of sleep since then can't see that sense of graphics but you should just trim the end off right. that's Oops. right yeah I just trim okay. the end off because the important thing is that they're both the same size mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to do is you just choose which two you want to work together. Now I'm going to have that one with that one to have one side because I think that's quite muted and pale. And then I'm going to have these two on the other side so that I have a real big difference when I turn the bag okay. in. And then I'm just going to mark my handle position. Again, I haven't read the instructions, I've written them, but I, uh -huh. think, I think it's three and a half inches. Um, Gwen, there's nothing different with our lighting today than normal. It says uh, your lighting's too bright. Wendy's head is a blur. You sure that's not because she's moving so fast? I've tried to change things on my TV, but no use. Please turn it down a little. It's exactly the same as it always is, so I don't quite know what's going on. I'm afraid. Right, so I'm going to mark in with my trusty pen. Mm -hmm. Now, what you can do is you can mark one panel. Do you know we have friction pens now that are clicky down, like a biro? No way. They're in the, they're in the thing behind you. Yeah, you can't have one now, though. I'll mm. give it to you later. No way. Did you say I could have one later? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I use these all the time. I know that... Um, so you're just measuring in where your straps are Yes, going, I'm sorry, putting yeah. where my... Yes, and yeah. what you can do is you can measure... The, both the panels the same but what I like to do I'm just going to make sure I've got them the right orientation it, again it doesn't really matter but I'm going to put the two tops together and then if I mark the second one against the first I know that they're going to be in exactly the right place mm -hmm. well they should be anyway if you've lost me mark that might not be the mark I better just check it Perfect. Lovely. So then all we're going to do is we're going to place the handle. So this is my outer. It doesn't matter because mm -hmm. it's reversible. And then I'm just going to place the handles on the inside, on the inside of that line. Yeah. And I pin. Now, when you, a lot of people do get a little bit confused when they're putting handles on because you don't want to twist them. So you just move it around. I'm not sure if I've, if you can see that. Yeah, yeah. So I've got my handle and I just move it around. And then the one that is on the top uh, in this point then becomes under the bottom. So sometimes you do need to take that consideration if you've got like a dual coloured one. Yeah. And then we're just going to do the same with the other. Now I don't, because I've cut them to exactly the same size, I'm, I'm not too worried. I know that if I place them in the same position, if they're going to be out, it's going to be neg 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 that one. Yeah, a little um, bit little bit there we go and then what I would do have I got time to just I, I like to sew these in place so yeah, that I can on. turn two how pieces many minutes of have you got left on demo three more on demo right what you want to do is you want to sew within the quarter of an inch seam allowance because we're simply tacking these in place and we don't want to um, see these That Summer one. flowers, the one we're working with, has only got four left in stock. Oh dear. <laughs> Mind you, that means some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the last one. See, I'm just, I just did take the pins out for speed, but just keep the pins until you've sewn it. Right, so now I've turned the handles and the panel into one piece of fabric. I don't have to worry now because mm -hmm. they're joined. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take one with a handle and place it with one without a handle. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do right sides together. Now, if you did it that way, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just going to have the orientation is going to be different. But I'm going to have them exactly the same. And then you sew one to the other. Now, the only thing that you need to worry about is that centre nesting mm -hmm. because that's the only seam on this one. So I'm not going to pin because I want to um, do it for speed. Yeah. So mine might be a little bit out, I do apologise. I will try when I get there to do it. But you can see, I mean, I, I have already done three panels, but you can see how quickly it comes together, can't you? Oh, yeah. 
And, um, oh, I forgot to mention, just as you're going along with the section, with the handle, just make sure the handle hasn't twisted at all and it's staying where it should be. Yeah. So that's the first one. And then we do exactly the same with the other one. So I'm placing, put the panel where it should be, and then just turning it round so we've got the right sides together. We could have a, like a little bit of speed sewing. I'd love to do that. Like you give me an hour to make like loads of stuff and I just sit sewing for an hour. What? Right. right, let's just set, make sure that centre seam is lined up. Now I haven't used matching cotton here. I've used a contrast. Thread, you mean? Do you mean thread? But yes, I yeah. Yes, thread. I did tell you I was having trouble with the teeth today. Got John, you just mentioned the clicky friction pens. Oh, oh. Any sign of sewing street getting the friction pen refills? I didn't even know they existed. Oh, yes, they do refills. Oh, Jan, that'll be on the list for the buying team. Is Barry the, is Barry the um, book buyer in? Oh, but Paul, oh, head of buying's in. I'll have yes, a, yes, yes. I'll have a word with uh, uh, ooh, head of buyer's in. I'll have a word. I'll mention it. Oh, yeah, Wendy will mention it, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll mention I'll it mention now. Because I do think That's that two things. What was the other thing we had to mention earlier? Uh, I oh, I know, the embroidery machines. Oh, I, I, I wasn't watching. They haven't got you on in there today. They're what? Sorry? They haven't got you on in there today. I couldn't watch you. Oh, have they not? I know. You've got one in your jetty room. No, I haven't got you on. I'm not, you're not on today. We could have switched it on for you. Are you watching something else, you mean? <laughs> I never said that. You're watching Eamon and Ruth. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been absolutely glued to the Olympics. Um, so now what we do is yeah. we just need to put right sides together now i did say i do state in there to put the ones with the handles together right again it doesn't really matter the graphics now are not for the one that wendy's using they're for the this one the traditional one the blue and the brown and the green one just so you know they're the graphics i'll, I'll redo all the graphics any minute now as soon as wendy's finished um, no rush <laughs> so I, again i'm just nesting those center the center seams make sure you tuck your handles in out of the way because we don't want to be sewing over those mm -hmm. and then you sew all the way around the outside but you leave um one end open now be as bold as you like because the more the smaller the gap you leave the, the least amount of hand sewing you need to do because you do need to hand sew these ones okay um because unless you don't want it reversible if you don't want it reversible then you can just machine stitch if somebody's looking at the bottom seam of your bag <laughs> i would <laughs> i would be that person yeah <laughs> um and again you just need to make sure that you um, you don't have to worry about the strips because there's nothing to match up, but there is with the panel, so right. you need to match the panel up. And I like to sew from the centre down um, on one side and then the other, and then on the other side, centre down. Yeah. I just think it's a bit neater. How long have I got? Literally 30 seconds. Well, I'm not going to do it in 30 keep seconds. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Am I? It's just misbehaving. So I've got to go all the way round. Right, why don't you go all the way round? I'll recap <gasps> yes, all well the bundles yes, and we'll come back to the finished thing at the end. Yes, right, so traditional, which is the one that's in at the moment, that makes this what you get. Oh, hang on. No, leave it in. Get in. This is traditional, right? So you get the you get the instructions and you get this is the traditional panel, which we've had no issues with at all. This one's been absolutely fine. So it's all those lovely William Morris, essence of William Morris-esque patterns there. Uh, this down the side here is not your handle. It is just your an added strip. And you'll have one square left over at the end. So that's your tr traditional. And that one, should we show the picture? Makes that one. That's your traditional. Now, this is where the confusion lies. This one here is jasmine this one here i'm going to show you now is jasmine right and for jasmine you get the um instructions and this is the panel you get for jasmine sorry about this everyone all the photos are the wrong way around so for 24.99 you get this panel which is obviously both there and that you'll have one square left over and you'll have that strip left over that's jasmine and that will create this bag. It's lined, fully lined, remember. Righty-ho. And then last but not least, the one that Wendy's working on is this one, which is Summer 
flowers, right? This one is called summer flowers. I'll show you in a second. I'm just waiting, waiting, just waiting for this to go. Oh, sold out, sold out. Summer flowers are sold out. Uh, has the instruction on their own sold out? Right, it's instructions on their own. If you bought any other 10 inch squares, like the K for any that we've done, you can do that yourself. Or you can do it like we have, you can do it from stash. <coughs> they don't even have to be 10 inch squares, do they? You can have, if you've got stash, Liberty stash in your bag or your box or wherever you keep it. Nine pounds and nine, 10 pence for the pattern on its own. I'm so sorry about that confusion. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Right, Wendy's just finishing off over there. With the summer flowers? All the way around and I left a little bit and it was a little bit, so I had a little bit of a squeeze. But okay. as soon as you get more out than you've got in, you know you're going to be fine. So I've got my bag there and then the last thing that you need to do is give it a really good press because you want this centre seam to be equal because it's reversible. Uh -huh. And then you sew a quarter of an inch down. Don't be tempted to sew, sew right close to the edge because it will turn over. So quarter of an inch down and then the last thing you have to do is this centre, this little bit that I've left for turning then you fold it in make it really really neat and either whip stitch or ladder stitch it closed and then you've got a lovely reversible bag. Perfect that one sold out the one that uh, Wendy's got there. Right don't go anywhere Wendy will be back in now on Yarn Lane and we are putting Yarn Lane on uh, pre-order now it's going on, on, on in, this, in this break now. Uh, I'll be back after the break with some brand new fabrics. Really gorgeous, like Sands of Time. They're already going on the website. We'll see you in three minutes from now. Hello, my name is Fiona Hesford, also known as So Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric, it's a good idea to make, some, make the garments in a sheet or a cheap fabric, just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s. And once I made a jumper for the singer Sade, which was really exciting. Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since, almost since it began, and I love it there. We're like one big family, and I'm on the show about every two, mo two months, and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. 
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Brand new fabric. We've got some brand new fabric. It's very dramatic. Very dramatic, this is. But I do need, I do want you to message in and tell me what you're going to make out of it. Because I've thought, got a few ideas of my own, but I'd love to know what you're going to make out of it. I'm going to, now we haven't got, oh yes, we have got a mega bundle. Got a mega bundle. Got a mega bundle. Got a mega bundle. Here it is. You get half a metre of all of them. But you do get half a metre free. That doesn't say saving. What's the saving then? Six. Because this this is more, uh, more affordable, this fabric. No? 5 99 this is. 5 99 for half a metre. That's incredible, isn't it? Is it? Oh! It's beautiful. Right, which one shall I show you? Out of all of them, which one would you like to see? 
Anna can choose. Right, the blue one, first of all, look. Beautiful layers of colour designed to inspire stratosphere. Look! You and your embroidery. Anna's got something about every, every single thing we've mentioned today. Oh, embroidery. Embroidery, we love your embroidery. Do you know what this will be good for? You know that textile art book that I go on and on and on about that I absolutely love? And you're doing a seascape for the sky. Look, for the sky or the sea or anything like that. That'd be beautiful. Look, already. If you just do that, right? Just do that. That's already like a mountain range in Turkey. When I went on a juice detox at every sunset, we all had our own little trampoline and we would make noises as, <laughs> as the sun went down over the mountains across there. I know. And that's what that reminds me of straight away. You know, get it expelling any energy or whatever we had in, you know, that kind of thing. We'd have to we'd been up since six o'clock in the morning for the sunrise and we had to do yoga. Yes, I know. So much such a holiday. Beautiful. What other colour would you like to see? The pink one. Oh, oh yeah, this is pink. 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 Beautiful. It's free spirit fabric for five ninety nine. I don't really understand. Look. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do that this way up. Look, clouds. Red sky in the morning. Shepherd's warning. Red sky at night. Sailor's delight. No, that's the wrong way around. Shepherd's Delight. No, Shepherd's Delight. Sailor's Warning. There you go. Now I'm seeing a sunset in Cornwall. It's lovely, isn't it? So you're getting 11 metres of fabric. You're only paying for 10 and a half. How much is it? So £125.79. Uh, split pay, split pay, split pay. Uh, that'll be uh, two payments of 62.89. One today. And if you bought nothing else, then that will be your P&P &P on today's as well. No interest charge whatsoever. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, oh, can you imagine this in a Bargello? Oh, my word. Can you imagine this? Because it's going to give it, an, as well as the Bargello effect, it's then going to give it another effect because you're keeping the colour, but you're going through all those amazing, you know, I'm doing the noises I did in the detox in Turkey. We had to do, um, what's that thing when you pretend you're a Tai Chi? You're a warrior. They all had, go to hit the person. You do all this, it's all kind of like, no, because it's all from, it's all from old, ancient fighting, <coughs> fighting techniques, but it's all done in like, like that. I was more of a ballet dancer soldier than a, what's it, soldier? Every time I hear that red sky at night, I always think of Turkish Delight chocolate bar. Mmm, yummy. That's Becky Alley's under frost. I've no idea what she's talking about. I love Turkish Delight. Rose flavour I like. Right. That's your mega bundle. Now I've got two smaller bundles to offer you today as well. I've got them all available by the half metre as well. Don't worry. I've got neutrals. Who does? Oh, Carol. Where did they say that? Oh, okay, sorry. Here you go. So now, neutrals. These are your neutrals, a bundle of neutrals. So all the words have got a capital letter to start with, apart from neutral. I'd love a kimono in that fabric. It's gorgeous. Love from Carol Insa. Oh, I'm, uh, Carol, will you have it made it by the time I come and stay? I, I'm stopping. When I go to John O'Groats, and I'm popping down into Carol's on the way back down. That's what I'm doing. Or it could be on the way up. It could not be on the way up. Because I said, because, um, what's it, Rebecca Reed's not on her honeymoon. She's on a wedding anniversary week away on Sky. And I said, we could, where's Sky in comparison to John O'Groats and everything? We could go and see her as well. And then Elliot did an impression of her, of us turning up on the doorstep on her, uh, uh, her wedding anniversary going, we're here! Oh dear Claire, have you not got a dentist? Oh now, I just looked quickly at my phone. The dent I'm going to the dentist this afternoon because not I'm not normally in on a Monday, so I made my dentist appointment, so I've got to rush off. There's a phone call from the dentists. If, they ca if they're cancelling, I shall not be happy. Anyway, look, 
I'll have to ring them in the next break. Look, black, grey, uh, oh, coffee, sand, cream. Got you thinking one for that one. I don't know if they're the real, we'll see the real names in a minute. But anyway, that's your bundle there. So you get half a metre of each. One, two, three, four, five, six colourways in the neutrals. I can open them up for you if you like. There's your black. I was going to open them all up, you see, when we did the individual colours, but... I thought the people upstairs had left, had moved. Alison Marion's watching. She's in this week. She's in on, um, is it Saturday she's in? I think she's in. Alison Marion in on Saturday, I think. There you go. This is your six different fabrics here. The whoever that is upstairs, will you stop making so much noise? Well, no, I thought they were supposed to stay quiet whilst we were on air. That was all. Oh, look at those. That fabric would have been amazing for my footprints in the sand wall hanging. Well, Alison Marion, tough. I'm not happy. Turns out no emergency appointment, so my dentist isn't until Wednesday. Oh, no. So Claire spent a fortune on a new tooth and it's fallen out. And you can't get an appointment till Wednesday. Ooh. Anyway, neutrals, these are called. Neutrals. That's beautiful, isn't it? What's the matter, Emma? What, upstairs? No. Mice can't talk. That's lovely, isn't it, that one? Look, now, what colour would you call this one? <laughs> Alice Marion's laughing, everyone. No, that one was coffee, wasn't it? Anyway. Then we've got the pale grey, the dove there. And then the black is really dramatic, isn't it, that one? Fewer than 20 of those bundles left now. That was the neutrals bundle. Now... I'm not sure I agree with the name of the next bundle because the next bundle says to me, noon on a summer's day. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's called... It's, it's missed off early, though. But you did all capital letters in that one. Yeah, when, when, when Hannah was making this bundle, that's when Steph was saying, well, it's great fun doing the washing up because she was doing it at home and it kept going wrong. Anyway, look. So you get lime green, mid green, bright dark green, yellow, dark red and red. So there we go. Let's have a look at early autumn then. You see, that says to me, summer's day, that one. Don't you agree? No? Okay. Beautiful. 44 inches wide, machine washable. Now remember, these are bundles. You only get half a metre of each fabric. So in these bundles, you're not, it's not good for making clothes or anything like that, is it? It's good for APP. Do you know what you could make? Do you know what you could make out of this, right? You know um, Catherine Wright, she does a fat quarter skirt where you need, wasn't it three metres of fabric you needed? I think you needed three metres of fabric for a grown-up, didn't you? Can't remember exactly, but you can make a fat quarter skirt out of this. When I get on to the half metres, we'll start talking about what you can make of it. Like, who was it just said they're going to have a kimono? Carol's going to have a kimono. 
Anyway, there's your early autumn colours. Free spirit stratosphere. Free spirit stratosphere, autumn hues. Gorgeous, aren't they? So I just had to cough then. I just had to cough then. Beautiful. So this, what colours? Oh, well, well, we'll go through the colours in a minute. I'm not seeing early autumn. Because your leaves aren't this colour by early autumn. This is spring. This is full on summer. That's your midday sunshine. Which plant are you talking about? A poinsettia she's on. Oh, your hostas still around? Have the slugs not eaten them all? Oh, are they in pots or are they in the ground? Yeah. Do you put do you put um porridge oats around the base to stop the slugs from eating them? Oh. Well, it's because it's too you're too close to the abattoir, isn't it? That's why the slugs don't like it. Yeah. Right. They're the only two bundles I've got. Now, now, you can now buy them by the half metre. Half metre. Right, here we go. Let, let, let's, where shall I start? I'm going to start over here because we haven't seen these colours yet. So this one is SYUI47. Seafoam, this one's called. Now you see, I'm seeing a Prada blouse. Oh, here you go. There you go. Thank you, Claire. Catherine Skirt, adult up to 38 inch waist, 12 fat quarters or three metres of fabric. Julie's got an idea. Uh, hi, John. I was thinking ankle length wrap around skirt. What do you think? It's at the normal width. Lots of love from Julie in Surrey. OK, so it's, it's 44 inches wide. Uh, hang on. Uh, was it a wrap? What did you say? Uh, Ankle length wrap around skirt. It would be lovely. It'd be lovely, especially if you do it in different colours or you can do it all in one colour. 44 inches wide. This one's called Sea Foam. Let me hold it up for you. Look. Now it's going to be nice if you make a skirt because the stripes are going to go down. I'll have to hold it there. The stripes are going to go down. <laughs> That's not a wraparound skirt, obviously, that I put on there. It's just a... Yes. If you did a wraparound skirt with elastic, you could then wear it there, couldn't you, on the beach? And it would be a midi length then. Oh, no, not wraparound. No, you couldn't do that with a wraparound. No, no, not a wraparound. With a, I meant a maxi. Maxi is what I was thinking of. Oh, a blind would be lovely. In a bath... Oh, now, one of these would be brilliant for Kat because she's got a blue and white bathroom. So she can make a lovely blind out of that, couldn't she? Because then when you lay in the, ba in the bath, pull the blind down, it's going to look like you're looking out to sea, isn't it? No, your bathroom's on the back, isn't it? You can't see the sea. You can't see the sea from your bathroom, Hannah. It's only at the front. There you go. She's thinking she's in Malibu now, one of those houses on stilts. Right, another blue. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a bit, um, go all over the place. I'm going to do this one next. Oh, you want the number, don't you? Uh, UI, UI 54. Let me move that. Uh. Pink. Oh, this is just called pink then. This is just called pink. That's lovely, isn't it? That's a lovely, is a sunrise. Look at that. Oh, look. I think that's hedgerows. What's those park that Cindy lives nearby where Yogi Bear is? Do I mean Yogi Bear? Yellowstone Park, I'm thinking. Thinking. It's so where? Oh, okay. 
Oh, oh, now, I, 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 oh, I, I don't want to, I, say, I will say the wrong words now. And I'm not trying to be politically incorrect, but you know, like, Native American, do I just leave it as Native American? Oh, did you say, did you see, I have to say, did you see, did you see, did you see? Uh, what's Davinia, Davinia's show, um, Long Lost Family? Right, the, the lady in it, who's a Scottish, she was, had a very, very, she was lovely. She and her husband were so adorable. She, had a, she was, very, she was um, adopted, little, adopted as a little girl in Scotland. So she had a very strong accent, but she had no idea what her heritage was. No idea. She found her mum, right, her natural mum, and her mum said, "Don't want anything to do with you." Right, so she still didn't know. So they chased her dad. Right. Oh, I'm getting all emotional thinking about it now. And her dad was a, a, a Native American. In full dress, in full dress, with all the feathers and everything. And she was, the, he was the head of some, one of the, is it called Comanche tribe or the, one of those tribes, everything. And it was, and she was so emotional when she found, because she had no idea where she was from at all. Anyway, it was either, her dad was a prince and her granddad was the leader of the tribe and everything. It was so lovely. It was really lovely. Anyway, I'm not trying to be, I don't know the right terminology, so I'm going to just say Native American. That's what I'm going to say. Beautiful. So that's your pink. Then let's go to black. Very popular, the black one. Oh, yes, imagine if you bought the pink and the black and put them together. Hang on, let's just show you that. Look. Black has, lots of black has gone. Uh, yes, Ian, didn't he? And her son, right, her son was the spitting image of her dad. They found a picture of the dad because the dad was in the Navy or something, wasn't he? And, he, and obviously was, um, and that, that's like a spit complete. They had a picture of the dad when he was 19 and her son was about 19, 20 and everything. Spitting image of his dad was brilliant. Oh, I cry every week on that. It's ridiculous. I watch it thinking I won't cry this week. I won't cry this week. Sobbing. But also, this is Free Spirit Fabric, 5 99 half a metre. 100% cotton, uh, quilting weight, machine washable, 44 inches wide, Free Spirit, Free Spirit do Tula. Do you know what I mean? Oh, he's in the US Navy. There he goes, in the US Navy. Oh, hang on. So Kate's saying, if you've got orange and brown, you could do the Grand Canyon. So, hang on, I've got... Well, this is my nearest to brown. Is this... Oh, no. What am I talking about? Is there a darker brown? No, there's this one. I'm missing, messing all these colours up now, aren't I? But look, so this is the brown. This is the... Mm, you see, now, I'm... Set, this is the brownie one. It, the number NRUI17. See, what colour have they called this one? Taupe. Taupe, right? Now, I'm thinking sort of Grand Canyon be more that. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, this one's taupe. It's lovely, though, isn't it? And with what, which colour did you want? Brown and what? Orange. I have This one, is that, or would you call that one orange? I haven't got an orange orange. That one, or that one. But anyway, anyway, this one's taupe. Now, obviously, I'm showing it that way, but the stripes actually go down the fabric, look. Look. Oh, that one looks good enough to eat, that one, doesn't it? That's, like, that's 17, yeah, that's 17, that's taupe. Lovely, isn't it? That's one thinking, yeah, that one looks like food. That one does, doesn't it? We like food. Right, uh, let me go. I'm going to just carry on through this pile here then. So this one is TEUI 74. Rust, this one's called. Oh, you see, that's a moody sky, isn't it? That one, if anything. Right, I want to look that way up. You see, now, now look. Moody sky, morning sky. That's what it's like when I drive through Studley in the morning. It's 
Lovely. Is that one there? It's called Rust. Rust. Seaside mini quilts, Jan saying. I know, Jan, lovely. The thing is, if you do the EPP as well, think of all the different combinations. You get you did a little hexy of all of those. You get all sorts of combinations going on there, wouldn't you? That one's rust. Remember, now this is when uh, you can buy it off the bolt, half a metre. Each of these have got a uh, buy half a metre. You can buy, what I mean is you can buy as much as you want, but buy half metre increments like our normal um, when you buy your fabrics. Right, so then I'm going to go to the red, ready orange, which is VPU I62. Oh, 82 even, sorry, 82. I've got my... I've got my new glasses on and everything, and I'm still getting it wrong. Yeah. Red. This one's red. But look at the other side as well. You could really do something special with that, couldn't you? They don't agree with me. That's your red. Let me know which are your favourite colours. Let me know what you're going to do with them. Black is the most popular so far, but you haven't seen half of them yet. You haven't seen half of them yet. Let's do yellow next, then. The number is 29. Last number is 29. Yeah, it's the only... Well, the nearest one to that one is your lime green, obviously. That's beautiful. Let's just turn it that way up. Cotswolds, I'm seeing now. Escape to the country in the Cotswolds when they do one of those shows. It's the end of day one filming and they're going to bed and they'll see in the morning, we'll see two more, we'll see the mystery house in the morning, right? And then they do a shot like that, the sheep in the fields. Oh, somebody thought that was funny. Now, who's, who sits here? That be Neil. Oh no, it's a bit far down. Far down. It's Elliot sits here, isn't it? I can hear Elliot laughing. Yeah, it'll be he'll have recorded that. It won't be real. Right, dark green. Then this is the dark green ending twenty four. This is going to be like a forest. This one, isn't it? Oh, yes, the, 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 the uh, quilt that Lou Orth brought in the other day. Was it called Reflections? It's one Hannah was trying to nick anyway. Ian says, A Place in the Sun. That's the one abroad, though, isn't it? The Cotswolds isn't abroad. No. No. I'm just, just thinking, privet hedges. Christmas tree, oh yes. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna go to uh, lime green. I don't know if it's called lime, I don't know if it's called lime. I bet they called it chartreuse actually. It, the number is uh, 08. Lime. There you go. Five ninety nine. This is one hundred percent cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Oh, not a lock in in the pub. Hannah seeing a lock in Scotland. Are you going to see the Loch Ness Monster swimming along here then? Oh, that's the land. Where's the water then? Here. Oh, that's the water. That's the lock there. And this is the bank side here. And that's the other side over there. Okay. Yeah, okay. And where's the wolf? Oh, that's not in this one. This is Loch Ness Monster, yeah. Oh, yes, Emma's going to be going up the A1, uh, M6 soon. M6. Right, 
What uh, 47 this one finishes, different green. When are you going there then? Would be chilly, pa pack your thermals. Grove, this one's called. Grove. I didn't know Grove was a colour. I have to say. Well, I'd call it olive. Nocicelli olives, I'd call this one. I think they're doing olive grove. They're all different. You'd think they'd have to, well, they might not be all different, but you, they all look completely different, don't they? As in the depth of, because that would be the water on yours, but that was up there on the other one earlier. Oh, there you go. No, they're the same. Do so much with it though, can't you? Let me just hold that one up for you. Just so you can see the whole fabric there. Be beautiful colours. Right, hang on. Did I say they all had eight colours in them? Yeah, eight different greens that's got in it there. Shall I do, oh, what's the matter? Wendy says, I can see an African silhouette with applique elephants and giraffes. <gasps> oh, that's very exotic, Wendy. Is it like that where you live in the West Midlands? When I, um, when, when I first got to um, South Africa, we were filming a game reserve when we did the, um, uh, this one finishes 76. Uh, silver, this one is. Um, and the first day, the driver didn't arrive to come and get me. And I thought, I don't know if I can walk outside to walk to the production office or are there like lions and tigers outside my front door? So I just stayed in because I had no idea if we were in a... Because we're in a game reserve. You'd think there'll be animals, won't they? Not thinking, well, they're not going to let them walk around where you're living, John. But I thought, if I walk and I get eaten by a lion, they'll go, why did he leave his house? Does he know he's in Africa? Anyway, it wasn't like that. Five ninety nine, no, but the very same day, my very first day there, I went into the production office, and um, it was all it's all very exciting starting a new film, meeting all because it was all Ameri nearly all American crew and everything, and um, then there were all the like the gaffers and the grips and all the big butch people there and everything, and then a snake came in through the front door like that, and it is a bit frightening because they move quite fast and everything, and I've never seen so many big butch men, builders, squeal and run, like, because it was just, it was really going like that. And a, a little local girl came in, she picked the snake, snake up by its tail, right? She did a, you know, whip crack away like that, killed it, put it out to feed the birds, and then went, walked out, just walked out. Yeah. Oh, no. This is silver. Oh, Arctic. This looks like Arctic. I, th I think you mean Arctic, not Arctic. Oh, do you mean Arctic? I thought Arctic was a lorry. Ideal for winter scenes, says Ian. Polar bears. You wouldn't see polar bears on there because they'd be hidden, wouldn't they? Or penguins ice skating along here with scarves on and woolly hats. I can't believe it's only five ninety nine. I've spent weeks saying to you, yeah, Arctic, he means. I've spent weeks, haven't I, telling you, for, oh, for prices are going to go up, prices are going to go up, don't get used to these prices, prices are going to go up. Five ninety I'll stop saying it'll happen then, won't it? So I'll keep saying it as much as I can. No, they should be, I don't mean our, just our price, I mean prices within the world of everything else, you know what I mean? No, no. No, I haven't started writing my book yet, Claire, because we're still at odds with the publishers. Oh, no. Well, no, they want me to just do a sewing pattern book, and I don't want to do a sewing pattern book. I want to do a story and sewing pattern book. Right, this colour is 81. Ash, this one's called. There's a boy in the barber's called Ash. 
And his best friend is on, on the waiting list at, you know, the reserve for Love Island. But I don't think that, well, they won't introduce any more people now, will they? I thought, yeah. I don't think he'll be going in. You're on the reverse, not the reserve. Hannah's on the reverse list, not the reserve list. Yeah, but if you were on the reserve list, you'd be there now in Spain, waiting in quarantine. Five ninety nine. That's pretty, isn't it? Look, that's very soft and gentle. That one, isn't it? Okay, I've got two more neutrals to show you before I move on to the blues and the purples. Purples. Look, this one ends 29. That, oh, that's very subtle, that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this is 29. Antique, this one's called. Of course, I've muddled them all up now. Haven't I? Oh, oh, and the pink one's gone over the edge of the table. I can get it, don't worry. Well, I've got the neutral bundle ready to go. The neutral bundle's very, very popular. So this one here is your antique. Thank you. You didn't have to bob down at all. You could just walk through there. Anyway, that one's called uh, Antique. And Twacky. Right, okay. One more of the neutral range. And that'll be Ivory. Oh, one, this one is. There you go. That one's very subtle, isn't it, that one? Five ninety nine for half a metre, 100% cotton. Quilting weight cotton, machine washable. Oh, Hannah's breathing very heavily now. Five ninety nine. that's the ivory. Right, let me just show you the um, bundle of the neutrals again because there's only how many left? There you go, that's the neutrals bundle there. Black through to ivory. Get six fabrics, three meters. That's the neutral bundle. Thirty-five pounds and ninety-four pence. That one. Lots of people got that in their baskets. Oh right, okay. When you all checked out, single figures, single figures on that one. Lovely. It's done for you, isn't it? Done for you. Right. Let's do purples now. I've got a four, three or four purples here, so I'll read out the numbers. This one is um, XGUI15. Okay, on the website, these all look very, very similar. The next three I'm going to show you look very, very similar. So this one here is your amethyst. Oh, that is stunning, isn't it? The picture on the web isn't doing it justice at all. Obviously, the stripes go that way. But that's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. Yeah, just that bit there on its own would be just, just gorgeous, wouldn't it? I'll just turn it over so you can see that side as well. Yeah, you've got the depth already, haven't you, with that? That one's Amethyst. Mm. 
Lovely. Very, very popular, the amethyst. Then these are two that are very close to it. This one is JFU157. Iris, this one's called. I'll put them together so you can see the difference. That was amethyst. This is more blue, isn't it, this one? Look, that's amethyst, that's iris. On the website, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference from the pictures. Five ninety nine for half a meter. So this is iris, the more bluey. Oh, Julie, thank you. She says my book would be amazing. Well, if they can't decide what they want, it's a lot of work as well. Right, black on its own, seven meters left. That's it. Brand new fabric today. I'll show you very quickly. Black on its own. Seven metres left, that's all. Obviously, it's still in the bundle. It's still in the neutral bundle, still in the mega bundle, but that's half a metre on its own. If you want um, any amount of it, there it is, 5 99 for half a metre. Okay, let me go to the other purple now. So we've had amethyst, we've had iris, and now we've got 15 finishes. Dusk, this one's called. That one's dusk. So let me show you them together. This one, this one. So they, all, they are different, you see. Amethyst, iris, and now we've got dusk. Sitting is yours. Amethyst is the most popular. I'm not surprised, yeah. Of the three, of those three, I mean, yeah. But overall, black's the most popular overall. And then all the neutral colours are the, in the top ten, really, or top six. Right, now I'm going to go on to... What did you say the other one was called? The this one, magenta, no. 82. Oh, magenta, there you go. 82 is magenta. Quarter of the stock of the mega bundle have all gone, just so you know. 5.99 for half a metre, this one. Uh, some of these would be good for making gem quilts. Oh, yes, wouldn't they? Dillis in Bridgend. Yeah, they've started to tell you a story before you've even started, haven't they? I wonder what they look like if you cut them like... Let me just look at this. If you cut that like that for a binding or something. That's quite nice as well, isn't it? I don't know what I've done it. Not the bias. Yeah, or if you've got a quilt and that's your border, because you do it on the straight on the board, wouldn't you? See, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, so that one's magenta. Isn't that a character in Rocky Horror Show? Now I've got four blues to show you very quickly now. So starting with the darker, which is 57. Lapis Lazuli. Just talked about gems, haven't we? And there you go, Lapis. Oh, that's very bright. That's Mediterranean. Very Mediterranean. Look at that and that together. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? I'll be on the beach soon. Well, no, it's not soon. Six weeks, I suppose it must be. Oh, sorry, I'll move my head out shut. This is Lapis, Lapis Lazuli, lovely, that's very dreamy that one, isn't it? Of what? But most of them are clouds and beach and sea, aren't they, and things like that, look. Do 
extremo. That's very popular, that one. Lapis, very popular. This one is uh, MZUI10. Aqua. Five ninety nine half meter, remember? Aqua. This one's saying holiday to Hannah. Okay, then we've got, remember, yarn, oh, yarn lane's on pre-order, isn't it, Hannah? Yeah, yarn lane's on pre-order now. It's block of the month number four. If you haven't already started, we've got one, two, and three as well available today. Right, this one is 31. Peacock, this one. Peacock, oh, this is Emma's favourite. Five ninety nine. Well, I don't know if I've got the dentist of the rung to cancel. And then, last but not least, I'll wait till after Yarn Lane. I'm not going to ring them now. Well, no, no, no. I'm not going to ring them in the break. Because if they suddenly go, well, Mr. Scott, just hold the line. I'll be like, oh, I've got to get back onto Yarn Lane. So I'll do it afterwards. This one's 82, this one. Chambray, that one's called Chambray. There seems to be more light in that one than there does in the others, doesn't there? It's free spirit fabric, really good quality cotton. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton. And it's 5 99 for half a metre. You're buying it off the bolt, so if you want 10 metres, you can have 10 metres. That's all of them. Right, as we talk about beach, I've got a few beach fabrics here. Completely different, completely and utterly different. Has been on before. Oh, okay, in the past, these have sold out. We've got some more in. Got some more in. Right, go and do the panel first. This, this isn't a bundle, is it? No, this isn't a bundle. Okay. Because we were talking about beach, completely different, completely and utterly different story. Gone into holiday mode. Beach bound. Beach sand, sun, sun, surf, wave, summer. It's on there, look. Uh, so how much is this? Eight ninety nine for a panel. That's good. Eight ninety nine. This feels more like a poplin weight. This one. Beautiful. Now these are fabrics by the half. Obviously now, now if you buy more than one of those, it doesn't come joined up. It's they were already cut, right? These are all by the half meter now. In fact, I'll do the turtles because that's what we just mentioned. They won't have cancelled me, sure, I'm sure, Claire, because they would have left a message, wouldn't they? They haven't left a message. They've only, I saw a missed call, that sort of got. Beach bound in deep sea turtles. Now, Hannah, on them, the blue, she's going to cut these out and applique them on. And then do embroidery. Beach bound in deep sea. Hang on, beach bound in deep sea turtles. Doesn't make sense, does it? Beautiful. Blank quilting this is for. Be oh, that's about to sell out. I've got flip flops. Half of flip flops has gone on pre-order while we've been waiting. It's nice, isn't it? Not? Six ninety nine for half a meter. B 
Beach bound in multi flip flops, this one. Beautiful. Make a little bag to put in your suitcase on your holidays. Oh, that was loud, wasn't it? Here we go. Now these are stripes going down the fabric, but obviously they're going sideways. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Beach bound in convoy. This one. Okay, there's a convoy. Ten four. Ten four. Oh, Elliot, why use one word when you can use a hundred? Six ninety-nine. Right, yo. Elliot heard you laughing earlier, so don't pretend you're in the mood. Oh, he's not in the mood. It's just his accent that's on. Oh, hang on. This is multi-directional, this one. Uh, excuse me. Six ninety nine. I'm not saying excuse me to you at home. Saying excuse me to. I'm saying excuse me to Elliot. Twice. Uh, both of us paid. Uh, Jan says I'd love a pattern storybook with no overlapping of patterns or printing them on both sides of the paper. Mine was going to be more not so much a pattern book. Mine was going to be more of a tips book and a chatter book. Um, but they want me to do a full on pattern book. Anyway. Oh, he didn't get his chips last night. Oh, <laughs> it was Sunday. Oh, the, he was, all he went on about all day long was his chips he was going to have for his tea from the chippy. And he told us all about how one chippy was good and one chippy wasn't very good. And then someone joined in going, oh, don't go to this one because that's... Anyway, it was shut. So what did you have instead? And don't say nothing because we'll all, won't, none of us will believe that. Right, this mega bundle... This, I've got to be quick because she's on lane. This mega bundle. Look. All over the desk. Look. You get half a metre of all of these and you get one for free. I oh, know. I haven't finished. Look, you get 11 metres of fabric, but you're just paying for 10 and a half. Third of the stock has gone. There you go. There's, oh, that's nice. Uh, we've got two other bundles. I'm going to do those from still. It's going to take me too long to get these out now. So we have the uh, neutral bundle. Oh, I can see myself on the screen. There's the, <laughs> there's the neutral bundle. No, no, no. In, in that one, you were downloading a picture. I could say it wasn't a picture. It was me just in the corner. At £35.94, pence, you get six fabrics in there. Neutrals. And then the other one, which was early autumn. You should forget to put early. And autumn shouldn't be there. There you go. Oh, that looks lovely there, doesn't it? The bottom right one isn't that colour though, is it? Three greens. It's red, it's not brown, that one at the bottom there. Yeah. This one. That bottom one in the right hand corner, the bottom right is this. Right, listen, let's do tomorrow. I've got to go to Yarn Lane. Got to go to Yarn Lane. Let's do to Wendy's waiting down there in the new studios. Oh, the other studios, sorry. Right, here we go. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, we've got Fabulous Fabrics. 9 o'clock, Kerry. She's not going to name, name check tomorrow. Kerry from Living in Loveness here at 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Now, we've only got Yvonne and Makatanamini, Kapatamini, just for one hour tomorrow. She's doing the Kansas Serenade Quilt from Village Fabrics. Then we've got Living... Oh, two hours Living in Loveness. Two hours Living in Loveness. Now, 12 o'clock says sewing machines. There will be some sewing machines in there. 
I promise. Right, don't go anywhere. Now, oh, now, now, if you're not coming to Yarn Lane, which you should do because it's block of the month today, if you're not coming to Yarn Lane, I'll see you back here at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you are coming to Yarn Lane, remember, if you've bought anything from me this morning, that means your P&P is covered on Yarn Lane. Everything from Yarn Lane is on pre-order now because it's block of the month. You either do knitting or you do crochet. Right, I've got to go, got to go, got to go because you've got to get to the other set. We will see you either on the other side of this break or I'll see you at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning on Sane Street. Thank you.